Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Welcome to Sewing Street. Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's glorious out there. Glorious. And we've got a great day for you today. It's all about sewing today, funnily enough. All about sewing. We've got new fabric. We've got new kits, new books. Fantastic offer on a sewing machine. Um, and we've got Ben, the King of Calico, in the house. And so you know what happens when Ben, the King of Calico, is in the house. We get Calico by the bolt. And we've got it back in. Just saying. We will be talking about that later. Very, very excited. Oh, and the Helen Rhiannon book back in stock. We've got um, Cara. Cara Ackerman's in. And, oh, she's still done some beautiful designs. Beautiful designs. We've got glorious applique. We've got soft toys for beginners. Absolutely perfect. And beautiful new poppy cotton fabric range. But we're going to start with our early bird, which is our special offer for you today and today only. So the early bird today is, it's not, it's not, um, it's not new. It's not different, but it is what we need. It's cream fabric. Well, ivory actually. Ivory fabric, two meters. So this is your normal 44 inch width, 100% Rose and Hubble cotton quilting weight. Beautiful, two whole meters. Look at all that. You could make a whole angel for a nativity with this, should you want to. But great two meter bundle. So normal price for two meters would be 15 pounds 16. But guess what we're going to... How much can you give us today, Ben? I know it's not calico, but you can still love it. £11.16, £4 off. So two metres. Now, they are cut to two metres, so if you buy more than one of them, they will. you will get two lots of two metre pieces. You won't get a whole four metre piece. But two metres, ivory fabric. I love this one. I use this more, much more than white. I think most colours, if you're trying to... Um, blend with a print fabric most colors go better with an ivory than a white i think it's just a little bit softer isn't it and it is a very gen it's not a creamy ivory as well it's a very gentle ivory it's just off white i'd say really lovely so this is your kind of utility basic fabric fabric really good if you're doing patchwork and you need borders and binding and sashing really good for that but also if you're doing something like um, half square triangles or if you're doing um, a bigger design like a hunter star or something then you can use any prints and use it against that four pounds off already flying out loads of you've got it in the, the baskets in fact every time i design a quilt i end up using this ivory fabric so much that i actually know what the code is which is really is that really sad when you know what the skew is because i use it so much but it just goes really well it's softer if you're using it with print fabrics it allows the um prints to breathe but without being too stark against it it's, it is an essential, essential. Two metre bundle, £11.16. That's a £4 saving. Message this morning. Good morning, Rebecca. Absolutely love your dress. And need it. It's just my colour from Colin. I know, I thought that as well. Although, um, look at the sleeves. This is my favourite bit. Look at those. The only problem with them is, because I'm short, um, they're too long. So when I go like that, you see, I lose the cuff. But can you imagine the time involved in, did I make it? No, did I didn't make it. If I'd made it, Ben, it would have fitted. 
But can you imagine how long it would take me to take the cuff off, move all of the gathers up? So I'm just going to have to go with sleeves up, but I love the sleeves. That's my favourite bit. Fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you very much. I know, I saw it and thought I'd exactly the same. That's my colour. I need that dress. One day, one day I will do the sleeves. John said I should just, um, like, sew a pleat in them on the inside. But then I'd have a lump in the middle, wouldn't I? Considering it anyway. Um, he's, he's right. He's right. I could do that, but I would feel like I should do it properly. Anyway. Right. Four pounds off. Please keep checking out for that. There are loads of you who've got those in their baskets. Very, very popular. I'm not surprised. Four pounds saving. So, what is it? Is this 3 99 half a metre? Yeah. 3 49 half a metre. So, you are saving. You're getting just over half a metre for free. Which is fab, wouldn't you? £11.16. So, how much is this working out at half a metre, Ben? He's got his calculator out. I can actually hear his brain whirring. 279 for half a metre and it is Rose and Hubble cotton fabric. It's really, really good quality. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, because it will go with everything. So loads of you have got that in your basket. You need to get checked out of it, checked out of it, with it, so that you can um, ensure that it's yours. Only £11.60, fantastic. Anyway, I will leave that with you. Um, shall we look? at today's menu and good morning to um, Jan, Margaret and Laurie. Good morning, Laurie too, thank you. It is a dress, Laurie, it is a dress. Just below my knee, actually. But I haven't got posh shoes on, so I'm not gonna show you. I've only got my trainers on. Um, right, coming up on today's show, eight o'clock is new fabric collections. We've got Scandi canvas, we've got Mirchara cottons, which are glorious, particularly if you love the woodland animals. And we've got brand new collection from Poppy Cotton that is just delicious. Absolutely love this one. You're going to like that. We've got it in a bundle. We've got it by the half meter. It's pretty as pretty. Absolutely love that. Um, nine o'clock, Cara's with us with a brand new book called Stitch Textiles Animals. It's glorious. If you've ever once seen that sort of textile art where you get um, layers of fabric, look at this cushion. Uh, she's made the fox from the book. It's beautiful, isn't it? But we've simplified it for you. We've created a fabric panel that's got all of the pieces that you need on it, so that you've got all the different colours, because you need quite a lot of different colours to create that. Um, we've got a fabric panel that has all of those colours on so that you can easily create it. And then Cara is going to demonstrate how to make the hair. So we've got the fabric panels, we've got the books, and we've got all of the accessories that you need to make them. I mean, so you can create a piece of textile art without having to be able to draw, be able to understand how that works. The book will explain it and you can create something like that. So that's nine o'clock. That's going to be a glorious show to watch. 10 o'clock is about homeware fabrics. Now, we've got some fantastic new um, waterproof fabrics. So we've got ripstop, but we've also got this amazing new waterproof fabric that you can use for things like... Um, outdoor wear, waterproof wear, outdoor cushions, laundry bags, but it's softer. It's not that sort of stiff waterproof fabric. You can use it for make, making much more soft wear, like garments and things, in loads of colours. So that's fab, I love that. And, and it's very inexpensive, as Hannah would say. That's Hannah's um, phrase. It's not cheap, it's affordable. So it's inexpensive. <laughs> it's not cheap, it's affordable. That's coming along at 10 o'clock. And at 11 o'clock, Cara will be back with me with a brand new book called Instant Softies. It's a glorious book, really like it. It's got lots of different soft toys in it and they're really easy to make. I was having a chat to Cara this morning because she's made um, a bear and a woof. Is it, what's he called, Woofy? Woofy. Woofy, he's the dog, dog called Woofy. It's a really good book. I was looking at it earlier, it's really hard to put down. It's such a good book and it's really good for beginners as well. So Instant Softies by Isabel Ewing and Cara is going to be showing us how to make it. We've got the book and we've got kits as well. So we have sourced all the right furs so that you can make these. There is, in that book, honestly, there's a softie for everyone. You will love that. Then at 12 o'clock, sewing machines, but also, we have put in that the King of Calico's Calico Bolt. Now, as you know, the Calico Bolt, whenever we get it in, sells out. Not surprised, because who doesn't need all that Calico? How much is it? 25 metres. 
25 meter bolt that's in there and also i was talking to hayley yesterday um after the show and i said oh i i've seen you've got some new bag hardware in so we went through and she's let me have all the bag hardware for 12 o'clock we've got all of those you know those lovely little buckles that you can sew on but then they're magnetic and we've got some new ones as well all in glorious colors so at 12 o'clock we've got i'm going to do half of the show of lovely bag hardware that will make your bags look fab so i'm going to be talking about the 780 because the 7 a on the 780 500 pounds off 500 pounds so if you're thinking about buying the L and the 780, have a think today, 500 pounds off, just saying. That's at 12 o'clock, so I told you, it's all about sewing today, amazing. Loads and loads and loads of things going on. So please keep on checking out for the um, Fab Early Bird, save four pounds on the two meter bundle of ivory quilting weight cotton. Glorious. Um, now, which one will we start in with, Ben? Right, I know we said this morning, let's start with the um, the poppy cotton mega bundle and then I forgot. Now, this is the mega bundle. This is gorgeous. Right, so in here you get seven and a half meters. So you've got 15 fabrics saving £7.49. So you're getting half a meter for free, 89.88. It's a beautiful collection. It's pretty, it's feminine, it's ditzy. Um, there's so much detail on it. It's absolutely perfect. Wow. If you're a fussy cut or an EPP, -er, you'll love this. So I'm gonna go through all of the fabrics so you can see what you get in them, but let me show you my favorite one. This is in the bundle. Now these fabrics are also available on their own by the half meter but I'm gonna go through them in the bundle. Look at this. Would you not just want, I really, really want a little summer blouse in that. I wonder if half a meter's in there, it's probably not. I think I could just take that one home with me. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Now what's lovely about this is it features all the fabrics that are in the collection, but as patchwork print. So you can use this alongside all of the others and they will all echo each other. And as said to you, it's really good. The other fabrics are really good for fussy cutting, but you can see here, they've taken the fabrics and made them into patchwork prints. This is what would happen. So you don't even need to do it yourself. Do you know what you could do is if you had half a meter of this and you wanted to make a pretty patchwork cu cushion to put on your bed, put some wadding behind it and just quilt along the lines. So just sew along the lines. It will look like you've actually patchworked it yourself. Everyone will be going, oh, I love your seam matching. That's amazing. But isn't that fab? So that's what half a meter looks like. I love that. Now we are on very low double figures left of the bun mega bundle, 89 pounds 88. You are saving seven pound 49 because you're getting half a meter for free. So that's the kind of the hero fabric. That's my favorite, I absolutely love that. I love that red, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And then these are the other fabrics that are in the collection. So isn't this one gorgeous? Now I'm thinking EPP with this one because look at the size of these. They're quite little, aren't they? If I get a tape measure, there we go. See that one, it's only just over like an inch and a quarter. So if you add in an inch and a half hexi, it would fit beautifully in that. I mean, it's lovely as a fabric as a whole, but if you wanted to do some fussy cutting, or even if you had like a zip end, you could put the little dog on the end of it and you've got strawberries, vintage buttons. I mean, you could put, you could cover a button with that. So you could have it, use it for your patchwork, but then keep the little bits delightful, I like that one, look, delightful fabric, pretty ribbons, honey tea, soft bunnies, strawberries, piece of cake, butterflies, bells on kittens, should be whiskers on kittens, shouldn't it? And what does that say? Rose petals, something roses, I don't know what that says. Egg, there's not an egg. Oh yeah, there is. Ice cream, that's not an egg. <laughs> the egg says ice cream, that must be an ice cream. Nana's teacups, I mean it's gorgeous isn't it? You've got a very sort of soft minty green background on that. There's also the same fabric but in a cream background. Look at that one. It's just delicious isn't it? 
I love poppy cottons fabrics because they're always very feminine and very soft, but beautiful quality. And there's always lots and lots of detail in it. Now you can tell the quality of a fabric by how, how well the tiny details show up. So when you look at the size of the text on here and it shows up beautifully, you know this is great quality fabric. Oh, there's even little bunny slippers that says cozy slippers. Oh, that is just delightful, isn't it? Really like that one. Um, then we've got one with text on. Well, I've got two with text on. Bit of love text on fabric. And this is so pretty. So let me see, what does it say? What does it say? It says, farmhouses, happy days, summer nights, generosity, big smiles, doorbells, farmhouses, happy days, singing in the rain, pom-poms, twinkling lights, birds singing, fluffy bunnies, sugar cookies, honeybees, cinnamon rolls. Oh yes, I want to live there. Frosted cookies, craft projects and fresh flowers and antique shopping. Yeah, this sounds good. And then in amongst it all, you've got lots of little flowers. So this is a really good fabric to put with the other fabrics if you were make if you were doing patchwork i mean i would it's as simple as um a pinwheel wouldn't a pinwheel look lovely in these fabrics so we've got that one then the same fabric but in like a um like a natural sort of linen background same thing, maple donuts, baker's twine, lollipops. This is just all the lovely things. Well, the fabric collection is called My Favourite Things. And they are, aren't they? Handmade tea towels. Yeah, I like handmade tea towels. What would you put on your favourite things fabric? I would put cocker spaniels, polka dots, Dr. Martin shoes. But I think everybody would have a slightly different one, wouldn't they? I think I'd have a lot of things on here though. Double rainbows and I love baker's twine. I might go with that one. Oh, handmade quilts, breakfast in bed, definitely. Toast in bed, that's what I'd put on it. Right, then we've got these gorgeous floral prints. This one again has got like a, like a duck egg pale blue background. I love the flowers on this, it's really sort of vintage, isn't it? You've got tiny little flower prints behind it. And then these are almost like doilies with flowers in the centre. So these are all in the bundle, all in the bundle, all of these. Um, then, and then we've got this one. The it's the same floral print, but the same colour background as that text print. But you've got red flowers in the centre of it. Um, then we've got like this floral really ditzy floral isn't that pretty it's a really nice um tealy bluey background with this it's like a wild flower meadow very i like that that's really pretty that is in this patchwork print but in a different color so there's three of these prints but in different colors so this one's got an ivory background i mean this is the prettiest fabric collection isn't it if you like um that kind of vintage nostalgia feel. But it's a little bit more updated. It's very fresh and clean. It's perfect for the summer. And with all of this fabric, seven and a half metres, I mean, you can make the most beautiful quilt. If you've got a, a quilt design in mind for a while and you, you want something that's pretty, this is the one. I think that's beautiful. Wouldn't it look lovely as log cabin? Because it is so pretty. I've seen beautiful log cabin designs, keep meaning to do it, where you have all the prints. So you know you have normally on one half of the log cabin it's light and the other half is dark. I've seen it where they've used um, fairly pale prints for the dark and then the light bit is alternate white and pale grey. Uh, absolutely stunning. It makes the most the prettiest, the prettiest quilt. Then we've got this one um, in the yellow. Then we have, um, this. We, we're still going, beautiful, that lovely minty green background with the larger full bloom roses on top. Then we've got one with the ivory background with the full bloom roses. And then we've got a buttercup yellow background with little white daisy flowers and that kind of duck egg blue background with the white daisy flowers. So that is the whole bundle seven and a half meters of fabric you're getting half a meter for free 89 pounds 88 for the whole collection all of them including that glorious patchwork print so that print if i take that out now you can see it picks up the prints in the whole thing what 
glorious fabric collection. It's just nostalgic, pretty, lovely. It's really nice. Now, we have also got these fabrics for sale by the half meter. Obviously, you won't make the saving, but um, if you, if there's, however, if you, say if you like this one and like my, me, think, oh, I really want to make a cushion from that or a blouse or something. If you want more than a half a meter, I'm going to go through all of them now. You just need to put that number of units in your basket. So if you want two meters, put four units in your basket. It will be sent as a whole cut length. If you buy the bundle, you will only get them as half meter pieces. But if you want um, more than that, then we'll do them one by one. So let's start with the patchwork print. Gorgeous, £7.49 for half a metre. This is designer quality fabric in as far as the print and the quality of the fabric. All of them are 44 inch, 112 centimetre. When, good morning, this fabric would make a lovely quilted jacket from Sue. Absolutely. It really would, wouldn't it? Because like I'm saying, just sew along the lines. And actually what I would do, if you've got the time, sew along the lines, but also sew diagonally through and it will look like you've quilt, you've made that patchwork yourself. Or wouldn't it make lo a lovely lining for a patchwork jacket as well? So if you, especially if you did a reversible one, that's beautiful. This is flying out now, not surprised. Absolutely delicious, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? So get this while you can, because these fabric ranges, we tend to get them in and then that's it. When they're sold, they've gone. And this is brand new today. Um, right, the next one, let's do the teacup. Well, it's not called the teacups one. The one that's got all the cups and things on. Pretty things tied up with ribbon and strings. What's this one called? Blue. Blue. That was inspired. Blue. Wonder how they came up with that name. It's a kind of, I would say it's more of a mint green, to be honest. That one that's called blue is probably more of a mint green. Then we've got this one that's got the, all those the little ditzy prints again, but it's an ivory background this time. And that one's called natural. I think we should get a job naming this fabric, Ben. Natural. How about... There's so many things you could have called it. Right, let's go for the text one because we've got a lot to get through. What have we called this one? Love letters. Well, singing in the rain. Pinky promises, lemon cake, copper kettles, kindred spirits, warm blankets. Lollipops. Crackling thunderstorms. Oh, yes. Freckles. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if you could make your own fabric that had what you, were your favourite things on it? Honestly, there's loads of things on here. Old photos. Thimbles, yeah, I love thimbles. Um, we've got the same fabric, but in that kind of natural linen background. Candy apples, quilting and angels. Oh, look, it's got polka dots. I wanted that one on mine. I can't see cocker spaniels though. Disappointing. Maybe that's not, um, maybe that's not wide enough appeal, like vintage aprons. Um, this one, Beautiful again, it's like a bluey, like a, it's called bake sale. Well, it is doilies, isn't it? Could be doilies and then they just all need a cake on them. And that's a very pale blue background, a bit tealy, I would say. Right, we've got the same one, bake sale, but in a natural linen colour background. I love the fact they have the little red flowers on that, it really gives it some colour, doesn't it? What's this one called? Is it called Bake Sale? Uh, Patricia says, good morning, Rebecca, lovely material. I made a log cabin, my first one. Yeah, I love a log cabin. This would be great as a log cabin. Uh, bake Sale in brown. It's not really brown though, I would go linen. Um, let's do this beautiful floral one. This is so pretty. Remember, all of this fabric you can buy by the half metre or more if you want it cut. Do keep the selvages, look. Selvages have got bunnies on them. And they say pretty things tied up with ribbon and strings. So cut the selvage off. You could sew that onto something, couldn't you? Um, that one is called Pinky Promise Blue. It says Pink Pinky Promises is on the, on those, the text. Um, then we've got the next one in on an ivory background. Is that called Pinky Promise in, what's it called, natural? Yes. 
yellow. Yeah, okay, I, it's a very, it, the background is a very pale, I'd say cream, but you know when you get like slightly yellowy, lemony creams. Then we've got it on the blue, but it's that kind of pale tealy blue almost, very pretty. Love that, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Goes really nicely with that one there, doesn't it? Gorgeous. That one is called Delightful Blue. Uh, then we've got a lovely yellow print. That's the same print as the blue, but it's just a sort of a primrose yellow with the little white flowers on. That's called Delightful Yellow. Then we've got the large roses. Love this. That is like the perfect laundry bag, isn't it? That one's sold out. Gorgeous. The only way you can get that one is in the bundle. Have we got it in the blue? See, I'm thinking really simple drawstring bag. Get yourself half a meter, make a drawstring bag. Sold out of that one. Any of those you could do this with. And pop it in your suitcase. And that's all, that's all your holiday laundry. That's what I would do with half a metre fabric. But I want the whole bundle. Quilt would be gorgeous. Um, this is called Vintage Apron Blue. Yeah, I guess it's just like a little ditzy print. And then the final one in the collection must be Vintage Apron in yellow. <gasps> I was right. So the mega bundle, all of these fabrics you get half a meter of all of them but you get half a meter for free so this is the best way to get them there are a couple that are now sold out so the only way you can get these fabrics now is in the mega bundle 89 pounds 88 you get seven and a half meters so that's a half meter of all 15 fabrics i mean it is beautiful when you get it home you think oh right give me that pattern what am i going to make with it and with that, and when you've got that one as well, gorgeous. Right, I'll leave that with you because I have many other fabrics to do. Which one are we going to do? Right, so we've also got a bundle of plain fabrics. Now it's cool, it does go with the Mir Charo collection, which I'm going to do in a minute, but it does actually goes really well with this poppy cotton. So if you have bought some poppy of this collection and you want some planes to go with it it goes really well so i'm just showing you on here then i'll take off so you've got the pale green the pale blue the pale pink and the pale lemon so if you want a bundle of plain fabrics that will go with this poppy cotton range you can see the colors match up gold beautifully three pounds saving so 12 pounds 16 half a meter each of these four fabrics so 100 percent cotton quilting weight rose and hubble 44 inch £12.16, £3 saving. Absolute bargain. So if you want sort of a pretty pre pretty spring pastel bundle, bundle, that's the one for you. £12.16. Which one are we doing next? The Scandi bundle. I've got another bundle for you here. This is Ben's favourite thing today. What? More than the 25 metre bolt of calico, Ben? within reason obviously now all of these fabrics let me show you one of them to start with they're all a they're all brand new b they're all canvases so they're not quilting cotton they are canvas fabric i think they are wider than normal but i am going to check yeah 28 so they are 56 inches so 55 so 140 centimeters wide let me show you what one looks like so these are great for um cushions aprons brilliant for bags because they're not like it's they're not you can see from the drape they're not super stiff canvas but weekend bag little rucksack cosmetic case outdoor cushions aprons any sort of textiles that you have in the kitchen because they're a really nice weight canvas you know when you're bag making in particular, they work really, really well. Now, this bundle, 38.94, we've got six fabrics in it. Remember, they're all 140 centimetre width, which is 55 inches, and they're all canvas. So we've got the one with trees on. 
then the spotty one and these are all this lovely scandy colors so if you were thinking oh actually i'd like to, i make um i want to make a load of outdoor cushions absolutely perfect maybe you make make to sell isn't that one just i mean the colors of them they're very soft the style they're very on trend maybe you have a stall at a local fate and you just want to make tote bags to sell these are beautiful very easy to match to a plain fabric if you wanted to um to line them or put handles just pick one of the colors from them because the palette in them all is the same i'm just i'm going to show you all of them so you can see what you get in the bundle beautiful i love the way these are spots but they're more blobs aren't they and then some of them aren't colored in completely then we've got some gorgeous look at this one like a bit aztec -y. that's nice isn't it and then we've got this aztec -y one in blues so all of those are in the bundle. You get six different fabrics. Aren't they gorgeous? And the fact that they're canvas as well. I'm thinking like, you know, those little mini rucksacks. I'd like one of those and it would look fab, wouldn't it? But when you, or if you want to make a new apron, but you want it a little bit stiffer, this is just the right fabric because it's not your super stiff canvas. It's, um, it's a nice drapey weight. Actually, it'd be good for a pinafore. Or, you know, like an A-line skirt would be really nice. You know, if you, your summer flowing dress, it wouldn't work because of the canvas. But it would go for more structured things. Jacket. Nice jacket. And 38.94 patchwork jacket. If you had the whole lot. I know we keep talking about that. I love the Aztec-y ones. But I love these spots as well. And this is gorgeous, isn't it? be nice actually you could put that on the on the back of a denim jacket couldn't you that's what ben's gonna do put as a panel on the back anyway 38.94 you're saving four pounds if you get the bundle right now if you want to buy the half meter because you think actually i want to make a kitchen blind from just one of them and i need three meters these are for sale by the half meter but obviously you can um then buy multiples and it'll be sent to you as a whole cut piece but that would make a lovely roman blind for the kitchen I would like that, wouldn't it? Really freshen it up and the colours. I love that sort of soft cream ivory background, but are these earthy colours are gorgeous. So if you want by the half metre, £6.49, which for a canvas fabric is fantastic value for money. Very affordable. £6.49 for half a metre. Right, the next one, the blobs. It's not what, I wonder what it's called. It should be called paint. It's sort of like paint blobs, isn't it? Like in a paint palette. Alvika. Don't know who she is. <laughs> this is Arvika, this is. Arvika. Don't know who she is, though. Love the colours. You've got that lovely sort of petrol and blue and mustard and peach and coral and charcoal grey. Again, blind. I, mate, I love making a Roman blind. I've made one for ages. I used to make loads and loads of them. But that would be lovely, wouldn't it? But I think that would make a really nice backpack, that one. Because, oh, Arvika is a town in Sweden. It's, no wonder we don't know her. Who's this one then? Skara. Scandi Woodland Skara in Oka. And some of these, so the next one, if you were thinking if you wanted pairs, so if you were buying half meter and you wanted to make something, maybe like one of those really big weekend bags, this colour goes really well with it. Look, if I show you together, they look, those are the, the same colour palette on those. Arvika in ochre. But they go beautifully together, don't they? So and remember, if you want more than a half metre, just put that number of units. So if you want a metre and a half, put three units in your basket. It will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. Um, next one. This is the aztec -y one. Is this your favourite one, Ben? What, this actual particular colourway as well? This is called Karstad. Karstad, which I imagine is a town somewhere. really nice isn't it in the burnt orange 
and then so there's obviously two colorways going on here the burnt orange and the ochre i like that one actually no my favorite are these trees my favorite is the trees one in this colorway in um ochre so this one and this one and this one that's the oak, three ochre ones they go together really well and then you've got the three burnt orange ones which is that one and that one no, that one and that one and that one that's the three burnt orange colorways right i'll leave those with you i've also got some other scandy fabrics that we've got by the half meter these weren't in the bundle now these oh these have only been on air once before and they flew because they're birds look at these look that's gorgeous isn't it scandy birds in multi i really like that aren't they lovely oh yes that would make the best skirt wouldn't it what would be great if you made yourself an a-line skirt in this then you could pick any of these colors as just a little plain t-shirt to wear on top of it it'd look fab wouldn't it but it would make a really cute backpack or something like a tablet holder you know a laptop case one of those just little, little canvas things nice little wash bag as well i mean if you're thinking you're starting to make stuff as gifts for people particularly with christmas not that far away i know it's only august then um nice little zip pouch with that would be lovely i love those little birds so uh, we've also got scandy birds but in a different colorway that's in the more um ochre colorway isn't it in fact it's called look at that ochre i like that one that's so pretty and the background is gray but it's got little horizontal lines like little bird footprints all over it that's so pretty isn't it i like that i mean if you were going to make like a little zip purse you could just take one pair of birds and fussy cut it so that they were on the front of it how cute would that be put your little pass in it right and then this um fine there's two left nice geometric print this one is called odense in ochre but that goes really well with the others doesn't it if you want just that look again lovely for home furnishings be really nice for a blind or a lighter weight um curtain 140 centimeter i mean to be honest this will be lovely as curtain fabric because although it's canvas, it's got a nice drape to it. It would work really well. It would be lovely as to really freshen up the kitchen. If you've got like long patio doors or something, imagine making um, the curtains in that. That would look fab. It would just really, if you've got like a cream or white kitchen or gray even, it would just give it that little freshness and brightness because it's quite on trend, the whole Scandi theme. For any of these fabrics would work really well as curtains. And then the final one in the Scandi range. Oh, you like this one, Ben? I like the birds. In fact, I think what I would do if I made some curtains, I would choose a couple and I'd put a nice deep sort of five inch border across the bottom. Because I do like that with a curtain. If you put a nice deep border, even go up as much as 10 inches across the bottom, but just use a denser print for that. So if you were going to use, um, say for example this is the main curtain then i would put that one across the bottom because it's a denser print and i always think that looks really nice quite a good way of lengthening curtains but it's a nice design element that sort of draws your eye to the drape at the bottom anyway that's the scandy fabric right should we go mia charo bundle now um mia charo is a spanish fabric designer her designs are very intricate and detailed, but quite whimsical, as you will see. So we've got a bundle. Let's start off with the bundle, £41.95. This is brand new. It's called Autumn Friends, the mega bundle. You save £3 with this. And when I show you, you'll see what I mean by her design style. It is lovely. Look at that. It's like patchwork patchwork animals that is the cutest thing isn't it it's great because you could use it as a fabric print as a whole stitch around the lines it'll look like you've done patchwork or you could cut out the individual animals it'd make a gorgeous um fabric book for a child wouldn't it 
and really lovely because you could cut out all the individual animals, sew them together, right sides together, turn them right sides out. That's one set of pages. So in fact, what I would do is so take two and then and then sew another two to the other side and then that's like one set of pages. Wouldn't that make the most beautiful fabric book? But that's just gorgeous. Also, if you love embroidery on fabric, wouldn't it be lovely when you look at like this one, there's so much you could do. You could just add French knots to the ends of it. You could satin stitch his nose. You could back stitch over his jumper. It would be lovely for that. I think it's really nice because we have so many different styles. So we've gone from sort of very ditzy print pastel with poppy cotton and then the Scandi, which is much bolder and more modern. And then these intricate, humorous fabrics. I mean, I love the way that the fox has got a cup of tea and a piece of cake, obviously. And the um, hedgehog, cup of tea. Oh, he's got a little muffin. And the reindeer has got a robin on his head. And the squirrel, squirrel hasn't been invited to the tea party, he's still in the woods. He doesn't really care though, does he? But obviously the fox and the hedgehog are friends and they're in tea. And, he do, and the squirrel, he's off in the woods snaffling the toadstools <laughs> and then i love the fact that the reindeer has got a random robin on his head he hasn't even noticed look at his face he has no idea that robin's on his head <laughs> and then there's other fabrics in this range so look at this one so this is all in the same bundle but i love this so this is um this is the hedgehog and the fox's tea time but you see what i mean about her designs they're very detailed they're very whimsical they remind me quite a bit of um anna maria horner's designs with that sort of fun element and detailed but you know she the mere child she has a design all of her own isn't that cool wouldn't it be lovely as a border because you've got those horizontal teacups It is very Frida Kahlo, isn't it? It does have that that feel to it. Aren't they pretty though? But wouldn't that be lovely as a border on something? Gorgeous. Remember, quilting weight cotton, obviously we use it for quilting, we use it for homewares. Really good for dressmaking as though, though as well. Obviously not, you know, your fully structured dressmaking, but lining for a jacket, just delicious. What then? Have you got a picture? Oh, there's me a charo. And there's a book. A, a dog. Yang. That is Mia Charo. So she's a Spanish fabric designer. Gorgeous, isn't it? Um, she obviously loves her dogs. Look at the next fabric. Look. <laughs> Dogs in jumpers. Got the little terrier in the striped jumper. Look at look at him in his floral top. I love them. Look at his little face. I mean, you could use these and cut them out individually, couldn't you? Make a nice little book cover. It's just pretty, isn't it? I love the fact that on Sewing Street we get to see all of these different styles because you know some fabrics we have we love, other people love, some you aren't your thing, some is someone else's, isn't it? But we can appeal to so many different people, and these are really incredibly unique. I love them. Look at his little face. Then we've got this is the squirrel's domain. So we've had the teacups from the fox, but this is the squirrel's domain. I think that is gorgeous the background of it is a really lovely like pale apple green but with the bright toadstools mushrooms the leaves this is very autumnal isn't it i think that is gorgeous i mean it goes beautifully with this the squared fabric that i showed you right at the beginning obviously it's a lovely pairing uh, good morning rebecca i've started my christmas makes thought i'd start early this year as i ran out of time last year love your top from christine thank you very much it's actually a full dress christine full full dress and everything but i'm not showing you that because i've got only got my trainers on but it is a full dress well done christine i'm determined i was saying yesterday um to nicola and we had know this year i'm actually going to make uh, get my table runner done every christmas eve get lay out the christmas table and i go didn't make the table run again did i this year i'm determined to do it 
So well done. If you Now, if you've started your Christmas makes, it doesn't have to be like Christmas fabric. It can be just Christmas gifts. If you think, this year, I'm going to make everybody a little bag to put their present in. You know, you might have somebody who this fabric really would appeal to. And get it now. And be organised. And put it all away and you go, oh, yes. Because yesterday we had on with Nicola um, reusable Christmas crackers. Very tempted by those. Um, they, they were held together by velcro in the center and then you just pulled them apart and the kits even came with snaps as well I was very tempted by that i don't know whether we've got any left but if we have they were fab um pumpkins that's lovely so that this whole collection 41.95 if i put them all next to each other you can see now how if we start with the first one all of these different elements so we've got the pumpkins that belong to um who had the pumpkins? The reindeer. We've got the toadstools that belong to the fox. We've got extra dogs who weren't in the original panel, but demanded to be seen. And then we've got the teacups that belong to this girl. Look, so all of that collection is only £41.95. So you are saving £3 for that whole beautiful collection. So if you like Mia Chara's designs, these are lovely. Now, we also have some other Mia Chara designs, but they're not in the bundle. Right, oh yes, yeah, so we do have this one by the half meter. So let me just run through them quickly. So if you love them and you want more than a half a meter, you, or you can buy just half a meter, but if you want more than it, it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. So let's start with the Hero fabric, the patchworky one. That's just half of it. I can show you the whole thing. There we go. That's the whole thing. For normal 44 inch width, 100% cotton. $9.99 for half a metre for that panel. Autumn Friends. Uh, let's do teacups next. Okay, teacups. Is it called teacups? Mugs. No, they are definitely... Well, it is a very pale pink background. Well, I wouldn't have called that mugs. That's definitely not a mug. You know that, don't you? We know what a mug is. That is a teacup. Minus a saucer, but that's definitely a teacup. Right, let's do dogs next. Woof. Is it called woof? This has got a very pale, lemony, sort of spludgy background. It's called... Puppy wreaths, yep, it is wreaths with puppies inside. So that's half a metre of that, seven ninety nine, And then we've got the um, toadstools. There we go. Isn't that lovely? I love the colour background of that one. Mushrooms in sage. I would say pale apple green. I think that's a really, really unusual fabric. That's the sort of fabric I'd have in my collection that I just keep. Not sure what I'm going to do with it just yet, but I would want to have it. Um, and then the final one that's in this collection is the pumpkins one. Look at the pumpkins. I've never seen such a pattern pumpkin. Isn't that fab? Look. Love the patterns in the pumpkins. That's called Pumpkin Paradise. They would be lovely for fussy cutting. If you're a bit of an appliqueer, wouldn't they be nice to cut out as they are, bond away at the back and then um, put them onto something else? I think that's gorgeous. You could even use them as a template then to cut other pumpkins from other fabrics you've got. Right, we've also got some more of this fabric collection, but by the half metre. And I'm going to start with the panels. So, this is it. All of these again by Mia Chara. You can see it's very, very Frida Kahlo influence, isn't it? These are cats. They're mad, aren't they? Cats with wreaths. I mean, they are like little pieces of artwork. You could even frame them, couldn't you? You could buy um, quite inexpensive, affordable um, photo frames and cut these out and frame them in them. They look lovely on the wall. They like really instant and very, very affordable art. So if you cut these, I've only got two of these left. They would be beautiful pieces of art, wouldn't they? Or cut out 
um, nine of them, make a nice cushion, or again, you could frame it, get an artist canvas, you can buy them really, really cheaply, and just stretch them around it, that would look fab. That's the cat's one. But if you like a dog, then you can have a dog one instead. Oh, look. So I think we've got an Alsatian, Labrador. Is that a Husky, do you think? <laughs> they are fab. He's not very, very serious. He's the only one who's smiling. Look at his face. Yeah, I don't think he's very chuffed. I don't know. He looks more interested. I love these. These are gorgeous. Again, wouldn't they lo look lovely just framed? Or use them as little fabric postcards. But they would, I think they'd be great because you could cut them out as a whole piece so that you didn't need to um, make a whole, if you wanted to make a bag. They'd make a great little tote bag, wouldn't it? If you did like that. That's the, that'd be a real talking piece, wouldn't it? If you made it like that, look. Imagine walking around that, you just need some straps. Be so unusual, wouldn't it? Love that. Um, right, we have another one of the, this is from the kind of, oh, actually, let's do the little dogs and cats first, because that makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, then we've got small cats. So on this one, you've got like a splodgy pink background, and then the little cats have got floral wreaths around them. I love those. Oh, they're cute. But look at the detail on them. Like this cat's got little lines all across him. This is great. I mean, she is a very, very talented artist. I like the little pink cheeks on this cat here. His jumper's got, her jumper's got pumpkins on it. And that one's smiling. Seven ninety nine for half a meter. And remember, if you want more than a half a meter, it, it's gorgeous. If you want more than a half a meter, it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. Now we've only got six meters of this fabric left, and there are loads and loads of you coming in for it. Now it is gorgeous, isn't it? I like the fact the background is quite a splodgy pink as well. It's not a plain one. Right, then we've got little dogs. These are different dogs though, not the same as the big dogs. Well, these must be the puppies, mustn't they? So that is a terrier, Ken Terrier, do you think? Oh, uh, hang on a minute, Ben's put the wrong graphics in. Right, floral puppies, right. That's, I think, Cairn Terrier. Maybe, um, not sure what that one is. What's that dog? That one could be a Staffy, couldn't it? And that's just the dog that's called Patch. <laughs> I love that. Look at the Staffy picture. He looks really miserable, doesn't he? He's smiling. He's just proud. He's proud to have his floral wreath on. I think that was the most gorgeous one, though. Right. Then we've got, um, oh, another autumn print. So this one, although it's not in that bundle, would really, if you've bought the bundle earlier, this one ooh, would really go with it because they're all the little animals. So there's the, um, the hedgehog and the fox having their cup of tea, but in a wreath. I like that one. And the little um, squirrel in the wreath. But it's quite nice because these are all facing this way and these are all facing that way. I do like a multi-directional fabric. You'd have to concentrate too much when you cut it. Lovely. Right, and then there's three more from the Mia Charo. But these are just floral. Gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that one. This just is super floral pink on an ivory background it sings doesn't it this one i mean i'm thinking you know just a simple don't even do anything to it just make a cushion from this pop it on the bed on the in here on the half a meter there's enough for the front and the back pop it on the bed gorgeous because it's nice to have lots of cushions on the bed and i know you have to take them all and off but they look so pretty don't they 
they just look really pretty but um i'm thinking because i've got two of two of these fabrics but look at this pink one so it's the same fabric the same print but in um two tones so you've got the pink on the background and if you look really closely exactly the same print of this one here but it's all in white so if you were thinking about cushions use use that for the back so you can that can be the front and that can be the back that's two cushions but they go together really nicely or if you wanted to line this fabric with something that uh, match the pink matches beautifully and the print is the same so that's a really nice um two pair of fabrics that go together then we have got the same thing in navy so this is your navy floral like this one I like that one. Is that lovely? Again, remember home um, dressmaking. That would make a beautiful tea dress, wouldn't it? And if you want a fabric that goes with it, seven ninety nine for half a meter. Then this is the navy that goes with it. But those go together really well, don't they? Or if you love all of those, I'll just put them all together. Get one of each because actually the navy and the pinks, they go together really well as a collection of four. So if you've got a design that you, you're doing that you want to make and you need four fabrics or you want to put some planes, those four go together really well. Right, finally, I have one more plain fabric bundle, which is the Scandi fabric bundle, which goes with all of those all of these Scandi fabrics. So if you look at the colours that we had in the Scandi range, this is a gorgeous plain fabric bundle. So we have, they're all half a metre of each of these. Lemon, Ben's going to tell me the colours. That one's cream. Uh, no, that one's ivory. Buttercup, ivory. Peach, candy blue. Slate. Oh, duck egg and sl that one's slate, isn't it? So that goes together really well. If I just take, look, if you've bought the Scandi fabric, doesn't that go together well? That is lovely. Plains Scandi fabric bundle, um, 1895 three meters of fabric there and you're getting half a meter for free and those six colors go together really well don't they so there we go i will leave that with you um, well thank you for joining me for this hour haven't we had some fab fabric i really like it when we get um, lots of different types of fabric so then we can appeal to everyone because we've got your cat don't forget the um the canvas fabrics um, if you've got fabric in your basket, you need to get checked out, particularly if you've got the Poppy Cotton Mega Bundle, because we are very low in stock, then we've got more of you who've got that in your basket than we actually have in stock. So if you've got it, do check out. We're going to have a break for a few minutes, and then Cara will be on with us. She's going to show us how to make this glorious um, textile art, but it's achievable. It's not, you don't need to be able to draw or be amazing. The book walks you through it, and you can create your own piece of beautiful art. So I will see you back here in a few minutes' time. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back to Sewing Street. We have the most beautiful new book for you. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, when you look at the cover, you think, oh, oh, that's one of those really difficult textile books, but it really isn't. So I've got the lovely Cara with me today, so I'm just going to go to Cara with my book. Um, oh, you've got one as well. I know. <laughs> you've got your own I know. one. So this is fab, this book, oh, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible. If you love um, sewing. And, yes, and look what Cara made <laughs> from the book. So if you love sewing and you're interested in um, textiles and just taking your journey, you mm. know, one step forward, it's so inspirational. There's so many interesting techniques and But is ideas. it, you see, for me, I like the inspiration, but I'd like to know, can I do this? Is it You achievable? can do it, but don't feel that you have to get yours exactly the same. So if you look here, Yes. I've done my interpretation. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's still lovely. Thank you. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So, so the um, the fox, my one looks a little bit sleepy. Oh. And this one looks really bright and sort oh, of okay. bubbly. okay. So it just depends so how you do it. It really does depend how you do it. And what I love about it is it's inspirational. So it will take you on a journey to try different things. And, you know, 
it can be as simple as you like or as complicated as you like. And I love the fact that you've got projects in the book. Yeah, so, that you can actually do. Because yes. uh, I know that um, and our viewers love Delphine's animals that yes. are done in the same way where it's text, you know. It's, yes, it's, it's, it's layers and textures. Layers. And so if you love that kind of thing and you like doing those layers and textures, like all of Delphine's kits, you're going to love this. This is going to take you on the journey. Definitely. So let's have a little look at the book. It's a beautiful it's book. It's gorgeous. Can yeah. we have a look? To the right is that okay yes <laughs> look there's a hair so we've got two i'll go through this in a minute we've got two kits one for the hair and yes the what the deal fairy is in town sorry so the price of this book we've got to stop a minute is 15.99 but the magical the magic benjamin deal is in action Ten ninety nine, <laughs> five pounds off already. We haven't even gone through the book yet. Well, why not? So we've got two kits to make this achievable for you. We've printed some panels with the right fabrics on. We have, and what I would like to say is that although we're saying you know ones for the fox and ones for the hair, mm. you could actually use the panels on for lots of different projects oh, okay. in here. But also go into your um, you know your your bit box with all your bits of fabric right, and, and things like that as well yes so if we have a look let's see where you start i mean it is gorgeous it explains all about the fabrics what sort of fabrics you can use machine you know that you need your machine embroidery foot all the different threads so this is all the materials where to start using inspiration you see and it depends who you are and where you are with it you might think well i'll just use inspiration for photographs i'll think i'll just trace the um templates. exactly yeah or trace it up from a photograph so if um, um i want to do something for my sister for mm. she's got a couple of dogs and i thought oh, all right okay what can i do and do you know what this has inspired me oh, to okay. think that I'm actually going to do one. So I'm going to take a photograph of her dog or take one mm. of the photographs and then draw around it and then break it down into different bits. And it explains how to do that. And then layer it and oh, then okay. do some embroidery over the top. Fantastic. Yeah. So it can oh, be like this. So it's explaining how yes. you would you draw it from that. So this is so this is all the kind of the inspiration bit if you want to do it yourself. So that's right so this is where you're you know you maybe take a photograph take a tracing or something like that and then you can break it down and she she breaks it down into um tonal areas mm. so you're looking at the dark and the light and the the medium colors and things like that and then just roughly sort of going over the the photograph or the drawing and breaking it down into, into different bits. so yeah. then you can shoot and then from there you then choose your fabrics. Yeah, and it's, it's collage. I love collage. I know, it's great, love collage. isn't it? And you know what? Collage to me is, is paper. Yes, but yes. But this is but collage this is, wow. with fabric. And it can be, you know, fabric, brand new fabric, or it can be recycled fabric. Or and I guess something. you can use Bondaweb or not yes. use Bondaweb, yep. up, up to you. So this is, this is taking you through the kind of the design if you're actually doing it yourself. And then how to machine embroider yes. over it. And then you can make a reindeer in a dress. Yes. Love that. That's brilliant. Oh, that brilliant. would be brilliant for Christmas, wouldn't it? I know. That's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely fab, isn't it? Um, love the ram composition. So there's the ram. And I love what... Um, oh, no, he's a sheep. <laughs> I love what she's done as well um, with some of the techniques. Um, I've done a bit of sort of like Sashko and borrow work mm. and looking at some of the if we go back a page if you look closely at the background here oh with the vertical and yes, the horizontal it's very vertical borrow, and isn't it? yeah vertical and horizontal and that creates it's a plain piece of fabric but by adding the stitching you're mm. creating texture and um, you know that's what I love about it is that she will actually go through and then um, she'll sort of guide you as to how you're doing your stitching. Okay. I mean, I would make this into a wall hanging, wouldn't yes, you? I yeah. think this is a piece of art. Or frame it. it. Is. And I don't think we do that often enough with sewing. I think we make things, don't we? We make yes. cushions and bags. But frame a piece. Oh, gosh. You know, I, I put this into a cushion. Mm. But actually, the amount of work and everything, yeah, you, yeah. you think, we, oh, no. I must get it yeah. again, if we have a look at it overhead, with the amount of work in that. 
I, you know, if you go into an art shop or, well, like even oh, a supermarket, gosh. you can buy canvas, yes. the stretch canvases in these big supermarkets, yes. can't you? And if you just stretch that round, I yes. mean, that really would be lovely. It would be the stunning. Wall. But it, it worked really well, um, you know, for a cushion. I actually put H640 behind it. Oh, OK. And then I, um, afterwards, I just went round the outside, so the actual fox sort of pops. Yes, I mean, it does. So it, it does. makes it look more three-dimensional. But it is the sort of, it is the piece of art that needs to be on display, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. So on the cushion is great, but do you think about wall art? Because I don't think we, we do that often enough with our sewing, and it is gorgeous. So there's the, that shows you how, she's taken the photo of the sheep, and that's how she did the sketch. Yes. And that's how she turned it into the collage. That's right. And that's how she's broken it down into individual pieces. And, you know, when I was doing the fox, I thought, oh, I must do it exactly. Mm. But actually, you don't have to. You can, she, she gives you the guide as to how to do it. And then it's up to you how much you add and, you know, things like that. So yes, yeah. my design is quite different from hers because that, of the way that yeah, I've interpreted it. Yeah, and that's the point it. of it though, yeah. isn't it? Isn't that fun? Oh, I love that. And again, right, over the half of the stock of this book is gone. We've only been here 10 <laughs> minutes. He is gorgeous, isn't he? I like the fact she makes him into a character, so let's put a hat on him. Yes. And it, you see the background, as, as we saw on the cushion, it's plain background, but by adding the stitching, the horizontal yeah, and vertical stitching, it really, it. you know, creates the texture Well, and I think also adding these, rather than having a plain background, yes, putting adding just the squares, squares yeah. it's so clever, isn't yeah. it? And then suddenly this dog, he's just gorgeous in his hat. And it's funny, you know, you look at it um, here before any of the stitching mm. and you think, oh, okay. But then when you add yeah, the stitching, it just different. brings it to life. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially since he's got a hat and a bandana in yes. that one. She said, at last inspiration struck, the, uh, this earnest pensive chap would be just perfect for a Napoleonic style hat. And he did <laughs> seem to be a rather dashing canine version of Poldark. And what is ironic is that the name of the greyhound I had initially sketched and photographed was Captain. There we go. There you go. There you go. Um, and then, oh, she talks about background. So yes. that's it. So she's saying that what you can use, use any shape piece. I think that cir the circular yes, works the, the, really the well. the moon or the sun behind a character as well. It just makes it stand out. And by choosing different backgrounds, this is the same thing, but with four different backgrounds. Ten books left now. Oh, gosh. Mm. Yeah. So you can change, baskets. yeah, you can change sort of the appearance mm. by selecting and playing around with your background fabric. Yeah, oh, completely. Yeah absolutely stunning isn't it composing with sticky notes that's a good idea so like with this this is where you can decide and you can try things yeah you know try things and think oh that doesn't work that works yeah i guess i hadn't thought about that because if you put a post-it note on you can then take the hat off yes. love him with his party hat. yeah and then she also talks about um creating your own <laughs> fabric with printing as oh, well okay. and painting so yeah so it depends where you want to go yeah. with it I think a dog in a ball gown. It's like <laughs> a Madame Pompadour. I was going to say it's like, um, it is that kind of. She's got lovely. Too, isn't it? She's got a wig on Absolutely as well. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. So this is where you get the, um, you know, the actual printed background. Right, yes. So you can play yeah. around with that. So you can play around with. Yeah, with and it depends what you like doing. So if you yep. love doing that kind of thing, I mean, that is gorgeous. Simple blackbird shape, yes, but like on a silhouette. Printed. Yeah. Amazing. Only six of the books oh. left. So this is the one that I'm going to be looking at oh, right, today. Okay. So we're going to, you're going but to show us the this hair. This is one version of it, and I've just looked at it, and it's quite different from the one that I'm working oh, on. Oh, okay. But then you've got these fabrics in the background again. I mean, you know, it's it's really sort of like an action. You know, oh, this running. hair is, it definitely is definitely running. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, and you can print. You know, can stamp as well. Silhouettes. You can do oh, stencils. Okay. Because she's talking about um, using paper and stitch yes. together. Yeah. Gel plate printing, all. I mean, it looks amazing. It does, you know, the book doesn't it? is just so well yeah, I mean, it really is. But, you know, this is people who like printing fabrics, it would appeal yes. to. People who like stitching, it would appeal to. So there's a whole section on gel printing and printing fabrics. This is the one that And this is the one that you're going to yeah. be showing us how to do. And, and what I like as, as well is that she Three books left. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she'll add, um, you know, the direction of the stitching. So it will help you with an idea because 
with traditional sort of machine embroidery, you're actually going around the outside of um, you know a motif or something like that. But this one, you're going to be adding the texture by those right, um, okay, um, horizontal lines and vertical lines, and then she goes through oh, about um, you know building up the eye. Yeah, and what made me laugh is that if you don't like the eye, cut it out and do another one. And do another one. Oh, well, that's true, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Fab, so let me just get the kits. I'll bring them it's okay. easy to do it over here. Um, now, the good thing about the books and the kits, let me just get them, is that the book comes with the kit. So we've only got, how many books have we got left? Right, they've gone. So the books on their own, we've sold out of. But what we've done this time, which we don't normally do, is we've put the books and the fabric panels together. So um, I'll show you, I'll start with the fox first. This is mad. So for three pound more than the book, you get the panel as well. What? Oh my gosh! For the original price. Yes, of for the, the book. original price, yeah. it was fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. You forgot you'd reduce the price, Ben. Fifteen ninety nine. So for eighteen ninety eight, you get the book, but you also get the Midnight Fox panel. So this was the background fabric that I used for the cushion, mm. um, which is the pink, and it's just such a gorgeous pink. It is. So if you look, here's the cushion. So when you look at the colours on here, it's very much like the Scandi fabric we had in the last yes. hour, but all of the fabrics on here are on this panel. So it makes the panel, even if we if the book at the special price, it makes this panel just eight ninety eight. So you've got all of the different colours. You've got that beautiful, it's like a... Um, Plaster, mm. plaster pink, it is, isn't yes. it? Um, yellow, pale grey, duck egg, peach, beige, taupe. But you've got a nice um, texture on them as well, haven't you? Yes. Mustard, grey, black and off-white. But what you were saying is that, so this is the fox, but you could actually make a lot of the animals with the fox. You can. So with, if you love this colour palette, I think um, that's the thing. So if you go for a colour palette like this, you can make a lot of the because um, I'll show you the, panels. the we've got the hair panel, but I'm thinking. Have you seen this one, sausage dog? Oh yes. Look at the sausage dog. <laughs> let me let me get the actual finished sausage because there's a whole project of how to do the sausage dog. Look at the sausage dog. But this panel would be perfect. And this is one of the, so we didn't get to that stage. We've got to the hair, but once you get to this point. There's then, um, in the book, you've got the actual projects. That's right, yeah. And the f fox is one of the projects. Hang on, hang I on. love the fact of, um, you know, old oh, style photos. Oh, putting photos with it as well. Um, so if you're doing it sort of like a memory picture or a memory oh, yeah, um, that's thing, true. you know, if you've got um, sort of handwritten notes, I mean, this one's sort of, I don't know how old that is, but, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, no, that would be so lovely, So you could actually build it? something up. But if you wanted to use this panel, you could use it for the dog, couldn't you? Yes, definitely. So it gives you all of the, in the back of the book, so if you've got the panel, there's all the templates. So you can do these. This is where you have, this is where, if you don't want to draw it yourself, you've got all the plates. But I think this fox panel would look amazing as the sausage dog, yes. wouldn't it? Look. And then you can cut... So you can see this, the, the background, sort of a little bit like patchwork. Yes, it is, Or, isn't it? again, going back to the borrow, it's taking sort of squares of fabric, layering it onto the background. Um, you do tend to do a lot of the dog first, and then you put it onto the oh, background okay. afterwards. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? I mean, look at these. I you know. could do the bears. Yes. Love his dungarees. Right, we have got less than 20 of the fox kit left. And 14 baskets. So this is the Midnight Fox. Yes. So this is a, a whole project in itself. Yeah. Remember, and for this price, 1898, you do get the book as well. You get the book and the panel. So she'll take you through step by step, um, you know, suggestions so how you, you build it up. So you trace the template first. I've got, I'll show you. Um, okay, right. You trace the templates and everything. Um, I uh, photocopied, then traced them onto tracing paper. But if you've got a light box, you can use a light box, okay. which is really good. Um, and then this, you build the face up because the head is going to be the most important. Um, if we just grab that one, the cushion, please. Next. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I was listening to Ben who said there is a couple of books back in stock because some people have decided actually they want the kits because it's got the book in as well. So if you missed out on getting just the book, there are a couple back in stock. So you'll concentrate um, really on the head. Right. Um, so we actually, well, I 
um, made the head first oh, okay. and then built the body up and right. then put the head on to the background and then assembled everything. Because it's nice in the book that, you know, when you start, you think, OK, yes, it does look odd. It looks yes. like the fox has sunglasses yep. on. But that's how it works. It that's shows right. you each time. That's right. And you're, you're seeing it step by step. And in fact, yeah. I took a photograph before I'd done any of the stitching and I thought, oh, my gosh. Am I going to be, sh be able to show this yeah. on air? <laughs> it's like, oh, no. It looks nothing like a um, fox. And, you know, I thought, no, stick with it. Have the confidence. You know, do but it. But these colours work so well. That mustardy yes. tone, which is this on one here. in the yeah. panel. Yeah. You see this mustard tone on the panel. So, like, for see, the body and the tail. It works so well. And yeah. And then you've got the contrast with the uh, the very dark grey black fabric mm. and um, for m the majority of the actual stitching I did in cream thread but I did the legs in the black, I did oh, the outline okay. and the detail in black and then the background um, on the pink fabric I actually did it in pink thread but the grey fabric I did it in um, cream thread. Wow. I love this. So, I mean, you could use this panel for any of them. So that's yes. the fox. Then if we, I'll show you the hair in a minute, but if you go through it, I mean, you know, everyone's fox will be slightly different. And she's taken the fox head <gasps> and put it onto the back of a denim jacket. Oh, that's fab. But in a in the pompadour yes. dress, look. Yep. Oh, how cool is that? Ben, that's right up your street. He's not watching. <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see it now. He was hiding. Um, there's the mouse, the acrobat mouse, but again, so there's um, patterns for this. Again, yeah. the fa that fabric that panel. Perfect. You look at the tones of it. Right, and then the next one is the hair. So the yes. hair is the one that you're going to be showing us. I've yeah. got to do that one last. Yeah. Now, in the hair kit, you get the book. The book. Everyone gets the book. And you get the panel. So there we go. So in this one, you get, well, it's kind of like an aubergine yes, colour, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. And off-white, black, background, mint green, mustard, a little bit of a lemon stripe. This is great, isn't it? So let's find, where's the hair in the book? It's a bit further forward, isn't it? I think so, yes, because it was um, talking about techniques. There so we go. actually takes you through. That's lovely. So that really picks up. If you look in, in the book, at the, I mean, Carla's going to demonstrate this for a minute. Yes. We're just going to get through all the, um, the kits first. But you can see all of those colours. It's gorgeous. I mean, it, it looks really funny until you see it actually made. Yes. Beautiful, yeah. the patchwork hair. And this one, I think I'd do um, either as a long cushion mm. or you could actually do it as a hanging. Oh, yeah, that would be really nice. Or put it in a nice. frame, which would be yes. really nice. Yes. Or back of a jacket. I'm loving that oh, idea. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Would look you'd great, have to have it? very wide shoulders because it yes. is quite a wide Maybe design. Maybe you'd have to be running up your back. But um, with this one, um, mm. I'm... The, the the pattern itself is this size and she recommends if you want to do it to this size you actually um photocopy it and double it in size oh, okay. okay but that's up to but you but so if you choose. wanted to do a small one on the back of a jacket yes you just use this oh, it, just the pieces okay. will be a lot smaller that's yeah the and thing. then you'd make be able to make several i mean there's a lot yes. of fabric on this panel. yes there is there's loads but again left over. you could use this panel for me because you get the book obviously you could use that for making the sausage dog as well yes you? definitely Loving loads of you are coming in for this one. Right, so I'll leave that one with you. So remember, 1899, you get the book and the panel. So before the book on its own is sold out, so the only way to get the book is if you buy either the fox kit or the hair kit. If you're thinking, well, actually, I've got the I've got one of the kits, but I'd like another panel. I don't want to buy two books. We have got the panels on their own. So, so the hair panel on its own, which is this one, we have... Seven ninety nine. You can buy just that. I mean, it's actually quite a nice collection of fabrics. It is stash, lovely. Isn't it? it really it's is. Only fourteen of these left, though. But it, it yeah. is a nice collection. What isn't you it? could do is, if you bought the book and the panel, mm. is make that and then use this to go around the edge, oh, patchwork yeah, or something could, like oh, that. Yeah, because it would you? really match because well, Because of the colours and everything. Or use it as your sort of scrappy binding. You could like yes. little two inch squares around the edge yes. and then bind it as yeah. well. For 7 it's it's worth it to get a couple of panels, isn't yeah. it? Right, so that's the hair one. And then if you want the fox one, 
Fox one on his own. So you've got lots of that pink colour. You've got the mustard, the grey. They've all got a little bit of print or texture in them as well. They're not just plain fabrics. And then you get the duck egg and the taupe, yellow, pale grey, beige. It's beautiful, isn't it? So if you've got the book and you've got one that you want a couple of the panels, um, if you're thinking, well, I want to make a whole row of foxes and you want an extra panel, then this is a good opportunity to do it. Gorgeous. And also that goes well with that Scandi fabric. So if you need something for the back as well, get half of me to the Scandi fabric we had earlier because we go really well with it. And it's a canvas. Right. That's fantastic, Carl. So I want you to show me how to do it now. Ooh. Make me a make me a hair. <laughs> so as I say, the um, important thing with the hair is these are the templates and you can enlarge them on a photocopier really, really easily. And then what I did was actually trace them onto tracing paper with a black pen. So you have the, there should be a head somewhere, yeah. So when you start, she suggests starting with the head first. And then these are the pieces of the actual design that you'll the larger pieces that you'll cut out from the fabric from the okay. panel okay and i guess you can enlarge it to any size if you, you think, can well, i need it to be 16 inches long you can it's entirely up to you it doesn't make any difference yeah and then there's because it's for the book yes yeah. you have a template that overlaps so you have that it like that okay okay what um i did was actually cut out of the cream fabric on the panel um the actual shape of the hair and then that's going to be your base ah okay so you okay. did the whole hair in yeah on, let me just there we go there we go okay so um <laughs> <laughs> so cut the base out and then um as i say i actually built the head up first and just take your time and don't feel intimidated by all the bits and pieces just take your time um, I, as I say, this was the photocopy before I actually traced it. Um, but if you've got a light box, oh, it's yeah, really good. Yeah. Have we got light boxes? Yep. He's going to have a look. So a light box is really useful because then you can actually trace it. So if you don't, um, if you want to be able to trace your own light box is really useful though. And it, what the light box is ideal for is actually because the cotton is, you can see through a lot of the colours, is that you can put the um, shape oh, on there. So this one is an A4 light box, 32 99 It's fab because I have one of these, I love them. You just, they're really light. So they're not like, you know, old light boxes used to be super heavy. They're just like, yeah, super, I don't know how they work, to be honest, but they are so light, aren't they? And then you have different brightnesses. You just press. I use mine all the time. So if we grab the um, hair panel. Think, Is that the hair? Uh, no, I think that's the fox. That's the fox. No. Yeah, the, is the hair the... Well, that's... No, that's, no you're the right. the fox you're is right, the pinky sorry. one. Yeah. I use it all the time for tracing different things. So if you want to trace something, look how clear that yes, is. Yes, that's great, isn't it? To actually go through. And then that builds your confidence if you can actually trace it with the light box. But don't worry if you haven't got a light box because you can actually see it yeah if you're yeah. careful you can actually see it through the fabric anyway mm. um, but also one of the techniques that she says is that once you've um, traced your design is you can use this and then cut the shapes out oh okay so you can actually cut the shapes out but I found um, there are different methods and things like that. The other thing is, is that for the large pieces, I actually use Bondaweb, and I'm just hoping. I'll pop that back yeah. up there. Okay. Whoops. So the Bondaweb for yeah, large pieces was ideal, and um, if you want to, you can either turn the, the pattern over and trace through. So 2 99 for the pack of bond web. You'll only, I mean, we do bond web in different size packets. We do big packets, small packets, big rolls. Yep. But this this smaller packet is perfect for this, 2 99 yep. and that's absolutely perfect. So if you've got the book and you need a little bit of bond web, this will be ideal. Yes, so you can actually go through 
and trace out the, the pieces. Obviously, mm. you'll be very economical with the actual space, so you'll move your Wonderweb around okay. as you're tracing. Um, I would say that that's ideal for larger pieces, but not for the really small pieces. Right. For the really small pieces, then I would actually use a light box or just look through your fabric and trace it on. Um, so with Bonderweb, you do it with a permanent pen because yeah. you're going to be ironing it, so you don't want the, the and mm. the shape to disappear but if you're actually just tracing it onto the fabric then use um, a friction pen okay so then um, so those are all the pieces and everything then what you'll do is we lost the hair we've lost the hair Here we, go. we just got to wish a happy birthday to <laughs> Myla who is one today oh happy birthday happy Myla. birthday to you <laughs> I'm Probably not gonna one today. oh my gosh that is oh, wonderful look Wonderful. That's gorgeous. I hope you're getting a very large doggy chocolate cake. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, and Mrs. Bertimus, who is the author, Ooh. has just emailed. There she is. Letitia. Like, yeah, look. There she is. Hi. I know I was reading all about it. Isn't that lovely? Letitia Thompson, who is Mrs. Bertimus. She said, thank you so much for sharing my book. This is surreal. Well, it's a oh, fantastic book. Thank you for allowing us to share it with I know, everybody. it is because it's inspirational and achievable. When and I, that's quite Yeah, a, when I first got the book and I looked through it, I thought, oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. You know, mm. am I going to be able to do this justice? And I must admit, through the journey, when I got to this stage, mm. I was thinking, oh gosh, yeah. But then as soon as you add the machine embroidery, right, then you think, yeah, I've done it. You just think, but you can also hand stitch it if you want to. You mm. don't have to machine embroider it. So, you wow. know. Um, lovely. Well, thank you for joining us. She's yes, come lovely back to join you. Well, the book is sold out, Mrs. B. <laughs> um, the Fox kit we have two left of, 1898. Just to have, so we need more books. <laughs> She's just been on holiday, so I hope she had a fan. And the hair is very limited, very, very limited. It's a brilliant book. It's a brilliant book. Um, we'll have to get it back. We should get Mrs. Beyond. Oh, that would be lovely. With me and Cara. <laughs> we'll do it again. Oh, I don't know if there were yes, <laughs> both of us here. That'd be brilliant. We would love to meet you. So thank you. For, I'm glad you're watching. And come on. <laughs> right. So you stuck all your pieces on. Yeah. I've, right. Um, before I did that, mm. I actually um, traced the shape of the hair. Yes. And I put it, this was just for me, but personally i actually put this onto some bond web right but i didn't take the back paper off okay okay because i for me personally i found that easier then to put onto the background fabric mm. so um so some of these pieces have been bond webbed bond webbed it sounds awful doesn't it yeah, yeah. bond webbed is, is a thing been <laughs> bond webbed a new word a new word so some of them have been bond webbed and then some you can use um your glue pen Ah, okay. So for the smaller pieces... Make sure, you know, a proper um, fabric glue pen. Yeah. Do yeah. not use Pritt stick. Oh, gosh, no, no. I tried and that once, never again. <laughs> and again, you know, I thought, oh, my gosh, you know. And I've not used... Well, I was going to say I've not used this, but I have used it over the years. And it, this has still lasted. But it's blue for the back. Mm. And I was thinking, oh, my gosh, you know, that's showing through. But it dries. <laughs> it dries. So and it dries and it's clear. It's amazing. But so, it is ideal for those little pieces... Use your glue stick. Have we got any of those, Ben? Oh, we have, because I can see them there. Yes. I was looking here, looking in the wrong place. Um, these are brilliant. So if you want a fabric glue pen, we do have those. We'll put those on the code on screen in just a moment. May I have the ironing board? You may over, have please? the ironing board. Or the yes. ironing mat. Thank you. I don't think the iron's on. Thank I can you. do that. So I'm hoping you can see that. So some of the pieces I um, cut out, um, put the bond web on the back. These are the, the background pieces. So you can see for the moon and some of the squares at the back. Um, so what we're going to do with these last pieces, I just want to show you how you can layer, layer up. Should have put, there we go. So. I would suggest always having this out in front of you so you can oh, see where, yeah, you, where yeah. your pieces are going to go. So for example, I'm going to put, so you've traced it onto your bond web um, with a permanent pen 
and then taken the paper off mm. the back and then this particular piece is this piece here if you oh, can okay. see that yeah. okay yeah. so it's then saddled. we're going to yeah we're <laughs> going to pop that on there and you're going to overlap so some of the pieces are going to be overlapped um but that's fine and then that piece i'm going to pop over there yeah, and the panel is brilliant because like you've got the stripes yes. and that's got the stripes and you've got that minty green. Yes. So it is a really good way of building. For people, for people like me, I want mine to be the same. I know. I'm not very good at going off. I but know. that's good. So if it works for people like me where it has to be the same, then when you want to go off on one and you, you could then look in your fabric stash and go, well, yes. I might put a polka dot in there. Or, that's right. Or and a and I think or... on these ones, she's actually chosen a couple of velvet fabrics. I'm oh, not going to really? bring it. I'm not going to be able to bring it forward because if I bring it forward, I'm going to yes. move what I've already placed. Um, and then, you know, there's. Oh, well, let's move your ironing board forward a bit so we can see. OK, that's better. Okay. There we go. So, um, so I'm just layering these last pieces. So this one is for the, um, the I'm pretty sure it's in there. And then this one goes But like you say, you use, look at it as a guide. If yes. it's not exactly the same, it doesn't matter. No, absolutely. And this piece, I'm just trying to think, I think that might be, right. When I get to that stage, because I've used the tracing, I can actually put my piece over what I've, I've, I've got here so I can see exactly. So hopefully, yeah, so that piece is going to go, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> so this is this piece here. Oh, okay. So That's it needs go to go up there. there. Okay. Brilliant. So I'm just, but don't worry if you've got a little bit of the background showing, doesn't matter. Just move your pieces around slightly and don't sneeze. Whatever you do, don't sneeze. <laughs> or breathe. <laughs> or open the door. And then we're going to just pop my uh, plique mat over the top. And then we're just going to, because I've taken the paper off the back anyway, mm. we're just going to press those in position so that they won't move. And do you always use an applique mat? I do because I'm terrible at getting um, glue on mine. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, what I was doing the other day, and I put it the wrong way up. Yeah. And um, I thought, oh, thank goodness I got my applique mat and I hadn't got it all over my iron. I've had to clean my iron so much frequently recently. Okay, pop that there. So, those hopefully. Perfect. Okay. Your hair is all now fabriced <laughs> up. So what we want to do is take the background and I've actually, one of the reasons why the cushion took me a long time to do was that um, I put stitch and tear on the back to stabilise it. One fox left, six <laughs> hairs, Gosh. just saying. And that's the only way you can get the book? Because the book on its own is gone, but if, but the book is in the hair kit and the fox kit. But there's only one fox and six hairs. So you've put some interfacing. On no, the, no. Going... I put stitch and tear on the back of mine oh, okay. before I stitch all the horizontal and vertical um, stitches. And which why meant is that then? Um, to stabilise it. Right. We have got stitch and tear, but I would only suggest mm -hmm. stitch and st stitch and tear um, on the face. Right, not okay. on the whole. But just I on did the it face. over the whole cushion. Can you imagine how long it took me to, to pick it out? Off. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, but if you're doing something small, like the small details, yeah. then stitch and tear because it will stabilise the fabric. So we have got that. It's only two ninety nine. Just grab some. It's it's the stuff. If you don't know what stitch and tear is, you know when you see the back of a t-shirt and it's and it's got lots of intense embroidery on it. By putting stitch and tear behind the fabric, it means the fabric doesn't pucker. The other thing that um, I thought, rather than doing stitch and tear over the whole background to stabilise the background, I um, thought medium into inter, medium yeah, weight. You could put, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, but if you're fine. doing some very heavy stitching that may pucker the background fabric, then stitch and tear is ideal. Yes, it is ideal. And as I say, what's lovely about this book is it's just stretching your skill levels. So just checking that I've got rid of all the bits. I know I need to trim that one off. 
Well, I think it's, I think this is feeling like achievable because you're, you're showing me now that I've traced those bits. Yep. I trace those, I stick it on. Right, so I'm thinking, have we got another something to put the iron on? Just put it up like that. Is that okay? <laughs> I do <laughs> Just put it like that. Yeah. Like, like a normal, normal iron. iron. Yeah. Forget, don't you? Right, I'm making such a mess here. So, um, there are other little bits that so you can put. So, he's on the background now, but right. if you want to put those sort of squarey bits. Yeah, so I'm going to put him in the centre. And then, again, you can layer up. So, we will just, that bit there. So, I've taken the paper off the back of him, so he's got bond web on the back. Um, but you can, again, you can use your glue pen. I just found it easier with a larger um, area to actually write. Where did this one go? Oh, that goes above there, like that. Then this one goes just oh, under his message. back. Foot. Hi, ladies, I'm loving the show. I bought the book. <laughs> I think the hair would be great in William Morris fabric. What oh, do wow. you think, Jane? Oh, Jane, definitely. Well, because William Morris is, he is hair, isn't he? Yes. He is Mr. Hair. Yes. I think he would look amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I think what's great about this, because you don't use much fabric, then you can experiment. So when all these gorgeous fabrics work, and if you've oh got William gosh. Morris fabrics, you're not using a lot of your snatch, no. are you? No. Just little bits. And mix your textures as well. Don't feel that you've got to, it's got to be cotton. You know, yeah, you can use velvet. velvet um, excuse me. The other one is, um, you know, the tapestry fabrics would be really, and if I really were, good. If you were doing in William Morris, I would choose one of the William Morris colours for the background. So oh, kind of gosh, like that yes. duck egg blue. Yes. Or his, um, you know, his teal. Yeah. Would be perfect, wouldn't it? Brilliant idea. Uh, Jane, when you make it, can you send us a photo? Because I'd love to see that. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have to, because we've got a few layers, I'm double check that I've taken the paper off the bag maybe I haven't that may be so why the um, kits have all sold out now and oh, the book as well gosh. so Car and I going home <laughs> only joking. oh just have fun and I'd love to see no, we're just going to watch watch you make it now. it's lovely well there's yeah, loads of I didn't people take the, the paper books. off the bag loads of people have bought the book so they want to watch you make it so yeah should there always remember to take the paper oh, off the bag I do this all the time can do that one please thank you yeah poppy cotton would look nice in this yeah let's stick the mugger bundle on because i think this would be ideal because it's so pretty you could have a poppy cotton fox do you want a pin oh yeah that's a good idea i thought i could do that Oops. so because you're going through quite a few layers some of the layers have been bond webbed if there is such a word there is definitely, um, definitely. <laughs> we've just made it up um, have been bond webbed and some have been glued. You are looking at some of the um, some of the hair. Thank you. It just goes there. Where would you like that? That one there. It's all right. Oh, I'm yeah. going to iron it again in a minute. Um, you will need to just take your time to make sure yeah, that but then everything you can build adheres. It up and yes. You can stand back and look at it. Yeah. You know, and then have a little look through your stash as well and put some other things in. And if you've got like a little bit of velvet then think, oh, well, actually, that bit on his paw, I'm going to make that in velvet. If you read the book, Mrs. B does explain, doesn't she? She certainly does. Put all of these different things in. She puts bits of lace on hers. Oh, sorts, I know, I know. Especially on the chin, just under the, um, like, the beard mm. of the fox. Looks really good. So I'm just going to make sure that that's... Sorry, I am making a complete and utter mess here. That's fine. So that's nice. So with we'll have a bit clearer again, the this is nice with your applique mat because there are so many layers. Don't feel that you're going to sort of damage your fabric by leaving your iron on there for very long. Right. Okay. Shall we do a bit of stitching? If we've got time, have we got yeah, time? Yeah. Let's do some stitching. I was just okay. Saying, is this the, have we got the applique mat? Yes. Okay. So. Um, Let's do some sewing. Yeah. Right, we've stuck it all in place and now we're going to stitch it. What yeah. do we do now? So, practice, first of all. Right. So, um, with these horizontal and vertical lines, you want to actually just have a scrap of fabric and practice because I'm not very good at doing straight lines with my free motion. I'm okay at going round. Yeah, no, I'm very good at like curves. That. And also trying to get an even 
you know, length of stitch. Okay. Um, so, ah, oh, the applique mat. Right, can we just, uh, just show the applique yep. mat? Because I feel like that was very important, part yes. of the whole thing, because you used it so much. It's a really lovely little thing. It's, say, it's an iron saver. Only six ninety nine. It's like a twelve inch square, really, and it's you can put it on top of bond web or interfacing or anything, and it just means that it won't stick to your iron. So it is a very useful thing to have to save your iron. Oh, definitely. I've gone through about two or three. Have you? Yes. <laughs> six ninety nine. Definitely worth having. Okay. Okay. So. Um, so if practice. you haven't done free motion before, yep. set up your machine. I know every machine is different. Um, I presume your manual will tell you what foot and... Yes, it will tell you what foot, foot and everything. The most important thing is to drop the feed dogs. Right. The feed dogs are the little teeth that take your fabric through. Okay. So what you want to do is make sure that they've been dropped. And on my machine, it's um, at the back here. On some of the machines, it's at the side. Yeah. So your all, manual yeah. will tell you what you need to do. Um, you'll have... A, it's a darning foot, really, isn't it? One of these. Yes, I guess. Yes, some yeah. of, they're called different things on different machines yes. some are called free motion feet some yes. darning foot some an open toe yes all different things yes but your but manual will have a look at your manual um if you're if you can't do it on your machine then you'll have to get a new one <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> Most machines will do that, to be honest. You will get special feet. Um, there are very old machines, actually, have a, you can a get plate. a plate yes. that goes on top yes. of them. I went on a free motion embroidery course with Poppy Ooh. Trefry, who's one of my favourite people of all time. And she actually, on her machine, takes off everything. So she just has the needle. Wow. No foot, no nothing. Oh my God. But she uses very old sing machines and it works. And with the more modern machines, it doesn't work so well. No. But there are various ways. So have, just have a look at your manual or Google it and you will work out how to drop your dogs. <laughs> drop your dogs. <laughs> I can move that. I don't need that anymore. Thank you. All oh, right. And then practice. Yes. I think the secret is before you attempt anything like this is, is practice, so which is why I've oh, done. Okay. So, you know, you'll see that. The other beautiful thing is mm. a friction pen. <gasps> Do we have friction pen, Benjamin? <laughs> oh, okay. Or have a look on the website. We do yeah. have friction pens. So this is a guide oh, for the stitches. Oh, I like that. That's a really good idea. So do you know what? Even though I'm not going to actually stitch on the line. Yeah, but I would draw some direction. Yes. So it yes. gives you some direction. Oh, okay. So well, take a friction you do pen. That, then. I so, would definitely do that. Yeah. So I would just... Draw some lines oh. like this. Yeah. And that just helps, you know, I'm not going right to the edge, but because it's a friction pen, it will disappear once you've machined. Well, also it means that you can, because otherwise you might end up sort of, because it goes straight on the end, doesn't it? Yes. On this, on the book, it shows you here how, how it starts then going straight. To sort of go, I would end up like not going straight. So that's a really good idea. Yeah, isn't it? and then as I said, like the burrow, you you're not just doing that particular piece of fabric. You're going to actually. I'm just going to show you on here. Mm. Can you see the lines are on this piece of fabric, and some of the lines are going horizontally, yeah, diagonally. Right. But then you carry on your lines over that next piece of fabric. Oh, so when I, I get see. to here you're going to go over. So your lines are actually going to okay. go into the next. And that's what gives it the um, the shading and the shadow yep. by going vertical and horizontal. And the same for the background. I think if I just grab hold of the cushion, if you look at the background, and this is exactly what I did, mm. was I actually um, broke it down into squares and then I used my pen oh, horizontally okay. and vertically so that the background wasn't all the same thing because you can see here it, although it's the same thread because it's horizontal and then vertical it just gives that yeah, extra completely. texture it's completely different and then texture. i just use so for the whole background i just use my it really pen. works like that i was doing one of those um you know shadow box quilts where you get horizontal and vertical and if you horizontally quilt and vertically it makes the fabric look oh different it does colors, completely it? um and that's why actually i, I may Oh, I'm, I'm only going to do the hair. I would put the um, interfacing on the back. Okay. okay. But because the hair's already had that, I'm not going to delay because we've only got a few more minutes. Mm. Um, 
putting, well, I suppose I could. No, it just shows how yeah, I had to do on that. There. Okay. Yeah, um, I've only got five minutes. Yeah, the only uh, thing that I love and I have used <laughs> over and over again. Gloves, we've got them, we've got gloves. gloves. <laughs> so why do you use gloves? Because I've got a pair of them and then, and I'm like, what, what do I, I'm not really sure what, why. Because it just helps you smoothly guide your fabric through. Oh, okay. Okay. There are, um, you can get silicon mats that go over the machine. Right. And that help. But if I'm doing it just so by hand. So they've got like knobbly bits Yeah, on. so it just grabs. A bit like gardening gloves. Yeah. But no, I wouldn't use it for the garden. No, well, they're white, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, okay. So that just, so what does it do? It means that you it can. Just, it, it, it gives you um, confidence to gl glide the fabric through. So I'm just going to. So these are size medium to large. So they'll fit pretty much everyone. Quilt it. Those are exactly the ones that you're wearing. Yep. And they, so they just give you greater control over the fabric. They do you use do. them when you're quilting as well? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with mine. <laughs> So I haven't started on the line, but I'm just using the um, line that I've drawn as a guide. Um, put your needle down into the fabric, hold your, as your needle goes down, the foot goes down and it holds the fabric. And then you'll notice that your foot will go up and down. Right. So, and you'll start with just a few stitches and then you'll go backwards and forwards. And it's so nice not to be limited by having to put the foot up and down. Isn't yes, it? but I can see what you mean about the gloves because you're just, you've got to do it precisely in a small area. Yes, so that's keeping the control. Just the control. And the other thing is that um, you'll get into a speed. You don't want to be very quick because your stitches will be very small. You don't want to put your fabric through very slowly. Again, the stitches will be very small. So you want to get into a rhythm. And you'll notice when we come away from this that some of my stitches are big and some of them are small. Doesn't matter. But that doesn't matter. That's the point, no. isn't it? And you know, in fact, once you've done it a bit, you'll get used to what you feel is right. So. So as I say, because we've got the bond web and we've got some of the glue holding the fabric pieces in, this is quite firm to go yeah. through. So she says the pattern blocks help to add interest to the background and unify the composition. Yep. Yeah. Stitch the hair's face using cream thread. Try to suggest the structural planes of the face. I mean, all of these tips are fantastic, aren't they? I used a curved shaping stitch to help describe the contours of the shoulder. Back and forth stitching in cream thread helps to define the leg. The velvet, so she's used velvet. Um, On those two brown areas. Oh yeah, I love the, this bit where it says, um, once the hair was fully cut out and glued, I cut out the background fabric from an old dress and cut the same size piece from a vintage woolen blanket. Why not? Exactly. I love the idea of recycling Yeah. as well. And then the velvet was used on the back leg to create a sense of three dimensions. So I guess, I mean, because this only uses small scraps, it's the sort of thing you can to experiment with. And you think, oh yeah, I, actually I want that bit to be a bit heavier so you can put different fabrics. Tweeds would be nice. So you can see I started and my stitches were a little bit haphazard, but because I've now stood here for a few minutes, Hopefully they're more even, but I'm not stitching on the line. That is just my it's guide. It's just, um, yeah. Well, it's more of a direction, isn't it? Yes. That don't forget, you need to go that way. No, that's <laughs> right. And you don't want to go over and the edge. And it depends. When I went on this embroidery course, so some people just did it, and they did all their free motion embroidery. I actually drew all of mine on in friction pen. Yes. And then went over where I could. Yes. And some people were like, "Why were you?" Well, I, thought, I just can't. I. I, fiz I just couldn't do it without having some no. guideline. Whereas other people were amazing. The ones who could really draw, they were just all over the place. I, I know. Had, I had bond web and friction pen. <laughs> some people, no bond web, no nothing. No but then pen. you have to do what's, what works, and that worked for me. That's right. So you can see there's the stitching on the back. Okay. Yes. Can I grab the ironing board and the iron again? This is the stitching on the front. So you'll see my lines where I've been Do you want to just drawn it as a guide. Moment. There we go. So snip that off. But can you see, I'm quite not ashamed, but right at the beginning, you can see my stitches weren't very even. 
Yeah. Okay. But no, no, not really. But then I got better. Yeah, I guess it, but it just looks lovely. And I love the fact of going over, you know, yeah, so over this the is holding pieces. the fabric in position. So you can still see the actual um, friction pen there. Yeah. But if we just grab, <laughs> grab my, yeah, I don't want to be accused of ruining your iron here. Just pop that over the top. And there Whoa, you go. yeah, and now we, I can see it start. It's, it's completely changed yeah. the way it looks. So the stripes, because you've got diagonal, yes, it's going over made the, the diagonal stripes as well. Yeah, and then you'll carry on following the guide. Yeah, look at that. I mean, when you look at the the finished picture, I mean, that yeah. is beautiful, isn't it? So then you're, so we've done our stripes there. Mm. Going to oh, do horizontal okay. stitching there. Diagonal stitching up there, horizontal there. So, and that one is curved. So, you know, maybe okay. to depict, depict the, the muscle of the, the leg and everything. So, and then finally, do the pop background. it on your um, interfacing and then do your background. Well, we've managed to get 50 more books. <gasps> 50 more books! But, we're just getting those confirmed at the moment. Um, in the next few minutes, we should get that confirmed. They've obviously been on the phone to the publishers. There'll be a more, a slightly delayed delivery. Right, so they will be arriving um, with us on Thursday and Friday, which means we can send them early next week. So it's only gonna be a couple of extra days delayed. We're just getting that properly confirmed at the moment. Okay, it's definitely happening. We're just processing it. Well, well done. that's great, isn't it? Well, we need them, don't we? Because it's yes. a brilliant book. Because we've sold everything. We've sold all the kits. We've sold all the books. <laughs> that's because it's, it's a... F oh, Mrs. B says, thank you so much for doing such a fabulous job. I'm oh, not crying, honest. Well, oh. Mrs. B, we would like you to come on air sometime. It would be lovely to meet you because this is... It is a fabulous book. It's a work of art, isn't it? And you all have different ways of doing it to the way that I've done it. And because mm. it's your book and your project, you'll have different stories and things yeah, like that. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. And you'll do it in slightly different ways. Yeah. And um, and then just experiment. And I think if anything that this book teaches you, it's have a go. Definitely. Experiment. Definitely. You, know, you can keep it, do it exactly as it's there, or you can go, right, I'm going to decorate my whole jacket. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So it, definitely. And it does encourage the experimentation and I think that's wonderful it's and a creativity, beautiful book isn't it is it, it is yeah. a beautiful book I think my favorite has got to be the <laughs> dog though isn't it but it's, you know if you I'll look closely you can see all the stitches there I know. And all he's all been patched and everything and then the black is used to do all the the detail round and body if you've and never everything. done this you know follow one of the instructions yes. by the to the letter yeah. then after that like you say you're now at the stage having done that going oh i'm going to do my sister's dog i i you know when i finished that i must admit i was so proud of it because mm. at the beginning you're you're like oh is it going to work is it going to work when I finished it, I thought, yes, yeah, it. yeah. And like, you know, explaining it all to you as well. I'm hoping that it's sort of given you a little bit more confidence as well. Mm. Well, also, I mean, I think it's, I love inspiration books, yes. but I do need a bit of practical. I need to know how to do it. Yes. And I think this is, it's a glorious book. Yes. It's a glorious book. I think templates are good though. I need a template. Yeah, definitely. But as I say, I think what I'm going to do is get a photograph of my sister's dog, trace it. Well, yes, because if you look at and this... And then break um, it down into the there's component parts. a whole chapter. Parts. Yeah. Isn't there how to, exactly yeah. how to do that? And wouldn't that be a brilliant thing to do? Yeah. To actually do one of your own pets in yes. this way. And if you, if you go through the section that sh shows you exactly how to do it anyway. It does, yeah. Well, that was right at the beginning, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, so here's, yes. here's the initial drawing, photograph, and then how to turn that yes, into, into the, this. And it's breaking it down into the tonal thing. I think this is the thing. It was actually then taking a drawing or a photograph mm. or something like that, trace and it out, it, and then just take it. a photo and it's in black and white, doesn't that then give you tones as well? Yes, definitely. definitely. So you could try that. You could, yeah. If you had a photo, you could take another photo. Yes. Of it, couldn't you, in yeah, and do and it in grey tones. Yes. And then you'll have the dark, medium, and light. Mm. And then you can play around with your fabrics as and well. And also, it's a great way to use up those little fabric scraps yeah. that you love. Yeah. You know, and you just have those little ones. I know, and you don't want to throw them away. Mm. <laughs> Right, so we'll, um, those 
In the next hour, we will confirm the books and give you the codes and everything, which will be slightly delayed. Thank you so much for joining me for this hour. Thank you, Cara. It's been fab. Thank You've you. inspired thank you, us all. And thank you, Mrs. B, for a gorgeous book. <laughs> I will see you back here in a few minutes' time. I've got some brilliant fabrics, um, amazing waterproof fabric. You're going to love this. So don't go anywhere. Um, it's all about great fabrics in the next hour. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. 
never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Um, now, for those of you, have we got the book now, Ben? Yeah. Oh, one moment. We'll start off with fabric. I'll come back to the book in a minute. We're still waiting to get that confirmed. The second it arrives, I will let you know. Now, we've got some really good fabrics here. So obviously, the majority of the fabric up we sell is quilting weight cotton, because a lot of you are patchworkers and quilters and everything. But obviously, we do dressmaking as fabric as well. But we do a lot of utility fabrics. So we thought we'd focus on that more. By utility fabric, I mean fabric that's just very useful for specific purposes rather than being decorative. So I'm going to walk, talk you through a few of those because the great thing about the utility fabrics is they're extremely practical but they're also a really good price because they're used for specific things so I've got them in various sections for you now I've got these amazing waterproof fabrics these are paw prints um, I've got them in three colors for some reason I'm starting with green now let me show you the front so they are I think you should know by the length of my arms I think they're 140 are they 140 I, yeah, 150, oh, my arms are longer than I thought, 150 centimetres, so 60 inches wide, so super wide. Now, if you look at the front, they're a very canvas feel on the front, um, nice, just earthy green colour with the black paw prints all over, but a nice canvas feel. And then on the back, you've got this kind of rubbery waterproof thing, so these are fantastic for... Um, not trousers. <laughs> trousers. No, they would be very stiff trousers. They're brilliant for dog beds. They're brilliant for like a, a mat that you would put maybe in the car to save the chairs or put over your sofa. They're great for using for um, bags, backpacks, the kind of thing if you take the dog for a walk and you want something very specific for that. They make, because they actually look, if you see it on the table, they're kind of, they don't really slip because of the rubbery, back, rubbery background. So they'd be really good for using as a mat to put the dog bowl on all of that kind of thing um, or if you just love the paw prints they would be good for a, a bag to take out with your rucksack but um, look at the price $4.99 this is what I'm saying about the utility fabrics they're extremely affordable $4.99 I mean what a great dog coat with the rain that we've been having you want to keep your well you can make yourself a coat from it make yourself and the dog a matching one I have to say my dog and I have matching coats. Ben, we do. We both have um, <laughs> we both have olive coloured barbers with corduroy collars. Mm. The dog has the dog. Me and the dog go out. My my daughter said to me, "Mum, that's it. That's it. You finally had it. You are wearing a same dog coat as the dog." I, I know, and we look so lovely. <laughs> We look so lovely. I know, I know. But I only put it on it when it rains and she appreciates it. If you want to buy a meter, does it come as one? Sorry. Um, if Yes, it does. If you want a meter, just put two units in your basket and it will be sent to you as a whole cut meter. So generally, um, with our fabrics, if they are described with 0.5 meter at the end, like this one here, then it means you can buy them in multiples. So if you want two meters, put four units in your basket. What happens then in our warehouse, the order goes through to the warehouse. That's fab. I went to the warehouse um, last week. I love the warehouse. They have big tables with cutting mats in the centre of it. And then you just see all these people scurrying off. They go to the shelves. They get a bolt of fabric or a roll. They put it on the table. They unroll it. They look at the order. They cut it to length, fold it up, put it in an envelope. I could be there forever, me and a pair of scissors. I know it's lethal. Lethal. I go round and I start going through boxes going oh I didn't know we did that and it's full of yarn as well honestly honestly 
I, I feel like we should do a supermarket sweep of our warehouse. With me, with me, because honestly, I don't think anyone loves that warehouse as much as I do. Any excuse. Any, I love it. And it's always really interesting as well because there's so many diff people there doing different different things. You've got some posting things out, pe some people are cutting. You've got people cutting fabric into fat quarters and fat eights, other people packing kits. Oh, honestly, for you guys, you would love it as much as I do. Right, so I'm stop talking about the warehouse. Um, I love the warehouse. Right, then we have the same fabric. So obviously exactly the same thing, but it's red. It's not a super bright red. I mean, it is, it is red, but it's not like in your face bright red. It's more of a, a more of a vintage 70s kind of red. What they call a Christmas red, but a bit darker, isn't it? Again, you've got that lovely rubbery background. Um, 4 99 Right, we also have the same fabric in blue. This is, I would say, a sapphire blue. You could even make a patchwork. I mean, obviously, you'd need to try and press the seams open. But it would look fab, wouldn't it? If you were making, like, a dog bed, you could make, like, the top from one colour, the sides from another, the bottom from another, or... I've already said that, Ben. He <laughs> goes, could you make a mat to put their water bowl on? Yes. Bind the, in fact, it doesn't fray. You, you wouldn't even need to hem the edge if you did. I mean, obviously, it would look nicer. I wouldn't hem the edge because of the bulk of it. What I would do is I would bind the edge. But to be honest, you could just cut a piece. If you bought yourself a metre piece and just cut it into a square because you wanted to put it in the boot of the car or you wanted to put it... You know, when I take my dog around, I put her in the front footwell of... The, obviously, not the driving side, the passenger side. And you could just cut a piece to put in there to stop it getting dirty because I usually put a sheet down. But because it's got the waterproof back in it, keep the carpet dry. Right, so those are the, um, the three pet waterproofs. Now, we've got some more waterproofs. Now, I like these. These are quite clever. I was having a look because I haven't seen these before. Are they new to us? I've not seen these before. Um, I'm going to start with red because red's because a, a great colour. Now, let me show you these. These are polyester, and so on the front, they just look like a polyester um, twill weave fabric, which the diagonals. Are. But on the back, you can see it's waterproof. Now. With those canvas fabrics we just had, obviously they're quite stiff. These have got, can you see, they have a lot of drape. So these are absolutely... <laughs> oh, is he gonna, Ben's going to do a little experiment. Oh, I, I can't not do this. Is it? Oh, wow! That's amazing! Watch, watch what you can do. <laughs> that is seriously waterproof, isn't it? Look at it go! You look like one of those like TV shopping ads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, that is amazing. Right, so should we right, try that, that on something else? Look, put it on um, this one that's just a canvas. Is that just a canvas? <laughs> Look that's at that. Much. That's amazing, isn't it? So if you do it on a normal piece of fabric... Oh, no, that is a waterproof. No, that's a canvas. What happens? Oh, soggy. Right, OK. So that's what it looks like. Look at that on that one. I've now got this, I've now got a snake of water and it, it if I, <laughs> it's all right, cat's got some tissue for me. Right, I'll just mop up that. I love the way Ben just walks off. Uh, anyway, look at that, I've mopped that up, it's completely dry. But just to show you that we're not, that, we, that, that is what, oh, I've run out of water now. But if you put it on that, look, it's just gone straight through. <laughs> funny that <laughs> see I'll put that on hang that one on there to dry <laughs> yeah but I wanted to show you that it worked so that's the difference right I'm going to measure them now to see how wide they are <laughs> 147 centimeters wide anyway so, because of the drape of them, these are ideal for clothing. So, if you wanted to make like waterproof anoraks, that kind of thing, would be ideal for that. Or even for dog coats, they go through the show machine no problem at all because they're quite lightweight. Um, if you have any problems at all, 
with them with them sticking then use a um, walking foot or you can use a teflon foot um, the other thing they're really good for is things like swim bags just a little drawstring bag to put your swimming kit in um, if you wanted to make them into waterproof wash bags so i'm just going to go explaining what they do and then we could just whiz because we've got lo lots and lots of different colors so the price 3.99 for half a meter this is claret um and obviously these fabrics can be cut to exactly the um, length that you want because if you put if you want a meter just put two utes in your basket but they are can you see how nice and flexible they are so 100% polyester very good for backing um, things like picnic quilts also really good for outdoor cushions or if you needed to cover your outdoor furniture. So maybe, you know, you've got your outdoor furniture, you've got those big um, square seat covers, or you want to put a cover for your garden bench. Because from the front of it, they just look like a normal fabric, but you can see how waterproof they are. Absolutely perfect. I mean, that was the best trial. I love that. So we have it in claret. So you probably want to see now, right? Love these fabrics. These are great. I mean, swim bags, brilliant. Make, you could make a load, couldn't you, for the school fate? Everybody needs a new swim bag. Uh, right, so claret. Then we have white. Classic Arctic white. It's got, I like the twill weave on it as well. They look quite nice. Right, that's white. Then we have blue, which I would say is a sapphire colour. Royal, no, a bit, because I think sapphire is a bit lighter than royal blue. So I'd go sapphire for this one. Yeah? It's called royal. Okay, royal or sapphire. All the same, all have that waterproof lining. These are all exactly the same. They're just different colours. Just three ninety nine for half a metre. Uh, let's go with my favourite colour. Yellow. Actually, now I'm looking at it, I'd say that's more mustard, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a Dijon, it's not as brown as that, it's more of an English. Um, then we're going to go grey because if you want two colours, loving. I've been to Dijon, never been to Coleman though. Look, they look nice together. Anyway, so that one is your mustard, that's your dark grey. Right, that's dark grey, very useful one that one. Then we've got green. That's a proper bottle green. That's, that is school uniform green, isn't it? You know, that absolute classic bottle green. So really good for any bags for sports kit. Um, you know, if you wanted a bag, if you have to do your yoga or Pilates, or you're going running, or you're going off for a swim, ideal for a bag for that. Think of all the patterns you can get for those, you know, even the big, like, large sports barrel bags, or just something, but, or just a little bag, ideal for that. Because it's fairly flexible and not too bulky, so quite easy to sew. What you could do is, if you use this for the waterproof, you even put this in the lining, or if you want this for the outside, for that section to be waterproof, um, you could put a pretty lining in or quite good if you want to use it for the base of a bag so if you've got a bag that you put on the floor or when you go off for a picnic they'd be brilliant for picnic bags just even if you just put a piece for the on the base section of it um oh this is nice what's this is kind of like terracotta i would go for this looks like the center of a sunflower you know that orangey yellow red brownie the, just the exact scent of a sunflower. They've called it terracotta. What would you call it? Hmm? <laughs> I would call it scent of the sunflower. Tobacco is what Ben would call it. Yeah, I guess so. And I don't know. I, th I don't think it's as brown as that. I think it's more orangey brown. Anyway, nice colour. Um, now we've got pale pink called rose yeah i'd go vintage rose Let's open it up a bit more so you can see it is, i would say it's kind of a dusky pink nice then we've got oh i reckon this is going to be called taupe or mink what's it called sand okay 
guess the fabric name sand but i would go that's wet sand that's that's not dry sand that's definitely wet sand and then the final one is black goes with everything love black goes with everything okay so those are all the waterproof now if you can't remember because i know i went through them quite fast if you go onto sewingstreet.com can we show that because i don't think we did that at the beginning we forgot and then click on watch live now if you scroll down from there you can see all the items that we've already played on there are, this is two sections today's show deals are all the items we've already played so if you're looking through there and you think oh i, I need to remember um what colors what there they all are so you can shop from that page also on the watch live is coming up on today's show those are the items that i haven't shown yet and that's how you get ahead remember there's going to be big savings 500 pounds off and we've only got one easy cover left so if you want one of those 500 pounds will be coming off that 780 plus so the price there is not the price you'll be charged and look at all that bag hard work well i was talking to Haley yesterday and i went i love that bag hard work can i have it on my show so she let me so gorgeous because i love bag hard work oh some of you this, and this is also where you can see what we've sold out and what we haven't got so even calico bolt mm, we just wait for that to come over the warehouse so we can show it to you um even if you want to shop on by the phone this is a real this is the best place for you to be able to see what have we coming up or if you go oh oh i, was, I wasn't concentrating what color was the last one you can see pictures of all there so it's just kind of a really helpful way to shop and we've got to show you earlier so there we go right let's do ripstop next i love ripstop because um it's extremely lightweight and it's waterproof and it's affordable then we're not allowed to say cheap now these, I haven't seen some of these colours before. These, I've used this for um, back of a picnic blanket because it's ideal for that. It's very lightweight. It's quite easy to sew as well. It goes, to, well, it's gone through my machine absolutely fine. Really good for lining as well. I tell you what, I've used it. I made, when we did the Amber Make supermarket bags because they weren't lined, I, just, I made one for a friend and I lined it in um, the rip stop just because it's extremely lightweight, I wanted the bag to still be able to fold, but also it just meant it was a bit more waterproof for, you know, putting your fridge items in. Anyway, the ripstop is obviously 100% polyester. It doesn't rip. It's waterproof and it is, I think, 150 centimetres wide. It's 199 for half a metre. And yes, I, I can tell now by the length of my arms. It's 199 for half a metre. If you want more than a half metre, it will be cut to length for you. So um, even if you just use it for lining. So if you've made a um, cosmetic bag or a wash bag from a beautiful piece, a very expensive William Morris fabric, but you don't want it to get ruined, line it with a bit of this. For 199 it's worth it because you get so much of it. If you've, if you've got a lovely, if you've got a lovely quilt, that you would like to use outdoors, but you don't want it to get ruined, line it with some ripstop. Um, I would say if you want to do um, something like a picnic blanket, then quilt your quilt as normal, place it on top of the ripstop, and then bind that together all the way around the edge. Don't sew through the ripstop and the quilt, because obviously then you put holes in it. So we'll start off with the bottle green, 199. Then we'll go on to lime green. That. That is very good for being able to see at night. Make yourself an anorak from that. If you're, um, if you're on your bike or you're walking at night at all, or if you want to make a special luminous see everyone, perfect for lollipop people. Um, this one's quite luminous as well. Orange. And also, I think if you're lining something, or if you're putting it on the back of something, go for a bit of bright colour. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> orange. That is super orange. Then we have um, super yellow. Love this one. 
If you, you know, maybe you have like a little handbag that you've taken on holiday or a little rucksack and put a bit of water, put the waterproof ripstop inside it and then it doesn't matter what you put in, then when your bottle of water leaks, it won't matter. Or your sun cream explodes. In fact, wouldn't this be a great bag to put toiletries in if you're taking stuff on the plane? Um, then you could put your toiletries here, put it in your suitcase, the one that's going underneath if you've got them. And then if, if like I had the other, what did I have? My conditioner leaked it won't matter because when you open the bag you'll be absolutely fine so you this is ideal for when you've got things in your suitcase or bottles of wine on the way home i've managed to get quite a few bottles of wine i've never had a bottle of wine smashed in a suitcase in the plane as long as you put it in layers and stuff but i should make some wine bags for that only get a couple in a suitcase uh sky blue What's it called? Turquoise. Hmm, I'd go more sky blue. Only one of these left. Oh, fly it out. Only one of those left. Uh, pink. Pretty pink. Love it in the pink. So pretty. Because, you know, we've got it in luminous orange and we have it in pretty pink as well. Perfecto. Then we have royal blue which is a very bright sapphire-y royal blue. That's only half of it, by the way. Remember, if you want more than half of me to put that number of units in your basket. Uh, and finally, white. If in doubt, go white. Because it will go with everything. Mm. Bit of fluff. Uh, Lisa Lamb said, and I think this is the um, the last fabric we had. This fabric is yummy. Posh gym companies, Lulu and Sweaty Betty, use this fabric for their gym bags. Ooh, interesting, Lisa Lamb. And um, Sandy Miller Chip says, can we do our next show from the warehouse, please? Yes, that's a very good idea. A very, very a good idea. I think we should move the whole studio to the warehouse. How cool would that be? <laughs> That's interesting, Lisa. So that must have been the last fabric that, that I was showing. They use that for their gym? Well, there we go. Be as posh as them. Um, should we do canvas next? Right, canvas fabric next. And I love this fabric because I'll just get one out to show you. Again, it's a lovely canvas. So it's not your quilting weight cotton. So it's your utility fabric. But it's got a bit more drape to it. So I've we have used this on... Um, on Sewing Street for bag making. Let me show you the dress. But we have also used it for dressmaking. So we've used it for jackets as well as things more, more structured like pinafore, A-line skirt, that kind of thing. But I have seen us use it for that. But it is really good for bag making as well because it's not super stiff, but it just has a bit more drape. The other thing it's absolutely brilliant for is machine embroidery. So, or and hand embroidery so when you're doing um machine embroidery hand embroidery you often you do need to stabilize your fabric but i find that when you use this canvas it's really soft it doesn't pucker in the same way as a cotton does so maybe you want to do like a little machine embroidered purse i would go for this canvas rather than a cotton because it won't pull up as much it doesn't need quite the same stabilizing so there we go anyway it is, I think, a hundred and I think forty wide. Is what is it? One hundred and forty. See, I can tell now by the length of my arms. One hundred and forty wide. So we'll start off with sky blue. Again, available as half a meter. But if you want more than a half a meter, just put that number of units in your basket, and it will be sent as a cut length. Same goes for all of these. So there is sky blue. Then we have navy blue. There we go. I'll show you that one. I've just got to go and retrieve the other one that I managed to get wet earlier. This cat's left on the table to dry. That's the navy blue. Then we have this is gorgeous teal isn't that a lovely color so even if you use this for like the base section of a bag and had a print 
a pretty print that you wanted to put above. This is quite nice for construction methods for having across the, the base section or the bottom. But that's a gorgeous colour, isn't it? And that's the wet, that's the wet mark. Um, then we'll go red. Oh, this is lovely. This is like pillar box red. This is, yeah, post box red. So they called it red. I like that. Make a nice coat to that. Wouldn't that, I'd love a jacket in that. In fact, I'd like a jacket in that with navy um, collar and navy cuffs. Because you can never find things like that, can you? But that's what I would really like. Glorious. Um, then, ooh, now this is a nice colour. This is kind of, that one sold out. But what colour is that one? Is that ochre? JHLJ18. Right, we'll just put that to one side, Easter. We've got it. Right, we can come back to it. We've got it, it hasn't sold out after all. Is it ochre? Oh, yeah, ochre. Gorgeous colour, isn't it? Because it's kind of green and yellow all at the same time. 4.49 for half a metre. See what I mean about these utility fabrics? You know, they're canvas, they're heavier weight, but you know, you've got the PU and you've got the ripstop and that. I just think they're so affordable. Let's go for the um, purple section. So we'll go pink. Very pretty pale pink, this one. I think it's great that we do such a selection of colours because that is lovely. And it, particularly, I mean, well, everyone has their own needs for it, but I would I use this for machine embroidery. It's gorgeous. It's just the right weight. Um, nice for you, if you want to do a bit of canvas patchwork, that's the pink one. Then we have this one, which I would call lavender. Is it lavender? Because it's very grey mauve and it looks really nice with that pink. This is 47. That's lilac. Wow. Okay, this one is called lilac, but it's actually... Well, I don't know. I wouldn't have said that was lilac. Anyway, it's a grey mauve colour. The other one, this one, is called lavender. Yes, there are... I mean, there are lavenders that are this colour, to be honest. Depends which lavender. There are different varieties. So, that one is lavender. But, if you love that colourway... Don't they look nice, those three together? So if you, you know, if you were making a bag, you could put that at the bottom. Wouldn't it be nice to have like that sort of tonal bag? So you could start, you could go all the way up like that. I think that's gorgeous. Those three colours are lovely. Um, ooh, then we've got, I'd go Ecru. Um, 18 this one is cream okay do you know this looks like it looks a bit calico-y it's almost got a little bit of a fleck in it so it's the color of calico it's fab isn't it nice color uh, then white let me show you put them next to each other so you can see the difference that is definitely white <laughs> it's ivory it's not white at all i think i've been here before i'm sure i said that last time yes okay so it's not white that's ivory that is um more like a calico color it does look white next to that but i guess it's not super bright white mm. it is ivory so that's your ivory and that's your your cream then we've got a pale gray we've got so many colors of this Silver. Yeah, it is actually. Covers all of your canvas needs. So we've got silver. I know there's so much. I know we've got so many. These these fabrics are fantastic, aren't they? And then we and then we've got a charcoal. More like a slate grey, I'd say. What have they called it? Charcoal. Da da da. I'd have gone charcoal or slate with that one. It's like a guess, isn't it? I'll give the name. Let's see what they're actually called. And finally, um, maybe black, midnight. Black. Wellies. They should have called it wellies. Wellies are black, aren't they? Black wellies. 
would have been more fun. Right, that's all those fabrics. What do you want me to do next, Ben? Um, yes, can we do tassels? <laughs> Look at these. Um, these have been flying on pre-order. Now look, you can get these as a bundle of all four or individually. Aren't they gorgeous? Look, so they've got um, lobster clasp on them. Now, so eleven ninety six for all four of them. You're saving two pounds. This one is teal, but they're like um, a PU, and they're they're really really good quality. So you've got the um, the colour the PU around the top gold here you've got the bag so just if you've made a bag just attaching this to it makes it look really special the um the other thing that i use these for is for a key you know when you have a key like in the door that it's hanging off or you've got a key on a key ring because i often have my back door key hanging in the door i always put a tassel on it that's lovely isn't it gorgeous uh quick question hi rebecca can you buy the waterproof by two meters yes becky all you have to do is just put four units in the basket and it will be sent to you as a complete piece if you want five meters put 10 units because we sell it by the half meter but when you order it the order will go through to the warehouse they will cut it to the order the size that you want so if you want two meters just put four in the bas in your basket and check out and you will have it as a two meter piece um tassels so so lobster clasp at the top nice gold one love them i think you just hang them on so they just they make just a really nice decoration it's like putting when you put bag hardware and it's like putting feet on a bag or d-rings on a bag it makes it look really extra special and then you can um there's a black one again again exactly the same you've got the gold lobster clasp at the top put it on a key hang it on the bat on a bag if you've made somebody a, somebody a little bag putting this on just gives it that extra finishing touch then we have um like a dusky pink and finally look at this one this is like your um leopard print i can't go left that way um <laughs> can't do that there we go this is like a, a leopard print oh yes we could put them on a bag so this is is this one of lisa lamb's bags oh now which one would i choose the pink one so you can put them wherever you want you put them on the end of the zip you could put them around the d-ring but do you see what i mean once you pop a little tassel on look makes it extra special doesn't it i like that or maybe this one well, this is one of Stuart's bags. Oh, I think I'd put the black one on this one. I mean, they don't do anything, do they? They're just a glorious decoration. They just look nice, don't they? So for all of them, I love this one. This is like a leopard print, isn't it? Look at, look at that one. That's the fourth one we didn't look at. So it's like a, a dusky pink with the black leopard print on it. We could have several. How nice does it look on that one? So eleven pounds ninety six. You are saving two pounds by buying all four of them. I've got to take them off my bag so we won't be able to find them. Right, before we go them do them, we're gonna do them individually as well, but we've got announcement. What's the announcement? The book! The book is back in stock. <gasps> it has just landed. Right, so we've got to honour the first go. Fifteen ninety nine. It is on extended delivery, but we're only talking a couple of days. So we are. Um, this was book. If you were with, if you are with me earlier and you missed out, you can now get the book. We managed to get fifty more copies, but we're going to reduce the price to da 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 ten ninety nine. And here is the book. It is gorgeous so if you watch the last hour with Cara where she showed you how to make these beautiful textile animals um 20 in baskets already we only have 50 of them 20 in baskets and we've only had it on for 40 seconds so if you want to get the book you need to get it in your basket and please do check out we had a complete we complete sell out on its own. We had it in kits, it sold out. So if you want to get the book, you can. Do we have any of the panels left, Ben? 
Are they all, even on their own? Oh, all the panels went, all gone. But we can get the book. So we have 50, well, 20 have gone already. Amazing. I mean, you know, this is brilliant. Like the lady who messaged and said she's going to do as in William Morris. How great is that? In tapestries, you can do all sorts, velvets, canvases, everything. But they're be beautiful book. If you didn't watch the last hour, then it is a gorgeous book that has shows you there's only 30 left how to create and there's 40 in baskets oh wow it is going to sell up out again it shows the book is beautiful it's so inspirational it's inspirational and practical as well it shows you how to make beautiful textile animals look and a sausage dog love the sausage dog absolutely gorgeous um where have we got? Well, I'm just trying to show you the other one. The hair. This was the one that um, Cara made for us. How to make? I showed you how to make the hair as well. There's loads of things. It also shows you how to take photographs or pictures of your own animals or just animals that you like and how to turn them into a textile piece of art. Absolutely stunning book. Um, I will just keep it there for you because we've got more people who've got it in baskets. If it's in your basket and you want it, you need to check out. We'll leave it for now and I will keep you updated how the stock is going. Right, back to tassels. So individually, if you want the leopard print pink one, I love that one. That's Jenny Jackson's, isn't it? Only £3.49. Absolute steal. Um, it's £3.49 each, but the bun if, with the bundle, you'll save £2 if you get all four of them. If you only want one, fair enough, £3.49. If you want the turquoise one, mm, like that, very nice with blue, £3.49. Aqua faux leather bag, tassel key ring, aqua, okay, 15 centimetres, I guess that's that bit there. Aren't they lovely though? They just add that little special finishing touch to your bag. Make it a little bit extra special. Uh, how about the pink one? It's a lovely pink. It's a real sort of dusky pink. It's not like Barbie pink or fluorescent pink. It's antique rose pink. It is faux leather as well. A nice little toss. And finally, the black one. So if you want one of those, black folio, the key bag tassel key ring, 15 centimetres. So they, they you can put your keys on them. Quite nice as well as you know if you've got a special key. You want to give so if you have a special key for somewhere special like a shed, <laughs> you could put them on those. Or if you were giving somebody a key to your house, you could give it to them on the key ring, couldn't you? But they're just quite nice on little purses, aren't they? I just think they just make things extra stressful. Or if you've got a bag, it doesn't even have to be something you've made, but you've got a bag and you want to just put a little tassel on it. Worth it. I'll put them there. The little, the, these little ones. Now, these are new. I haven't seen these before. So there's four of these. I'll show you how they work. So what's great, if you want to um, have a clasp on the front of a bag it's a little tongue and it goes in the little box look but what you do is you sew these on to the bag flap all that you see all the poles are punched out so you hand sew them on by hand what you do is the best way to do it is i would use a double use a sewing thread but double length so double it over and then you do a running stitch so don't do every stitch come out of one's out of hole one into hole two, but then come out of three and into four, out of five and six, so you've got a gap between all of them. Then work back again and fill in the gap. So rather than doing a back stitch, which is bulkier, do a running stitch, because then you're actually, in essence, using one length of thread to go round twice. Oh, the book has sold out. That's that. That was very, very fast. Gone. Well, we have got another book next hour, Instant Softies. So get ahead, because that is a fantastic book too. Um, so do go round twice with the running stitch rather than using a back stitch. But you can use these on the clasp of your bag. If you've got a bag like, um, you know, a crossover bag where it's got a flap, they're ideal for putting on a clasp of those. So this one is tan. It has an anting brass, cla brass clasp. 
just 4 99 They're quite good as well. You can, If you put two of them, pretend they're the same colour, if you've got like a laptop bag or a man bag, you know, a messenger bag, if you want two of them, you can. So you can buy them because they're 4 99 each. So that's the tan one. Um, then if you want it in the brown, that's dark brown. They are leather, these are as well. Real leather, $4.99. But they, again, it's like putting a tassel on your bag. It just takes it up to that next level. It just makes it a little bit posher, doesn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? $4.99. Um, we then have it in black. So all you have to do is, when, when you get your bag flapped, so I stay on this side too, because I've got Stuart's bag here is make you make up the whole bag first and then you sew it on so you'd work out go right well how is it going to overlap put it together first then you can see from here okay so that one needs to go there that needs to go there then s s you can clip one on use you could use fabric clips or actually to be honest the best thing is fabric glue if you get our sew line fabric glue i would put them there and glue them on and then sew them on and then that's how you you would do it with that one so make it first and then sew it on afterwards right and then the other the final color love that one is the red one that's my favourite. That is proper. Well, I think of Clark's um, school shoes, red. Little, but little shoes. I'm sure I had, I think my first school shoes were red. They're just gorgeous. I remember having little red school shoes. They were just gorgeous. Little red ones. Aren't they lovely? Right, those are the little ones. Now these, I've also got the ones that we've had before, but you might not have seen these. I love these. Now these actually, oh, let's put it all back together. To show you how they, what they do. Actually this, they are on this bag. The black ones. So these are fab, they're real leather. It's a magnetic clasp, but it looks like you've actually done the buckle. I mean, the buckle does actually undo, it's not fake. So you can actually undo the buckle if you want to but and actually what you can do is when you're sewing it on is if you want to detach them it's a bit easier to do that but you don't this the best thing about it is you don't have the faff particularly if you're making a satchel of undoing the buckle because it's magnetic at the bottom so in exactly the same way you sew them on you sew them on by hand go round twice using a running stitch um, and because the end of the buckle covers that bit it looks like you've got a buckle so again perfect for this size bag really good where you can put two of them if you've got a longer flap ideal for that so there's that's the black one and we've got that one on screen at the moment then we have the tan one more breaking news we're getting more books how have you managed that ben don't ask. Ben, I think, I think Ben's wheeling and dealing in that room, in, in the gallery. Um, he's managed to get more books. Anyway, well, have we definitely got more? Have we got to wait? Oh, we've got to wait. We've got to wait. But it will be today. Fantastic. That's great, isn't it? It's a, it's a really, really good book. Um, this one is tan. So that's kind of your classic leather colour. What I like about these, actually, I've just realised, is that the, there is stitching on them, but then they've got the holes punched in. So when you actually affix them, you, you do the secondary line of stitching. So make sure you use a thread that matches this. And then so it doesn't really show up. No, they're sewn on with a running stitch. Oh, do you saddle stitch them on? Well, I think that is what saddle stitch is, isn't it? I think it's running stitch where you go around twice. I think. I might be wrong. I might be, but I think that's where... I mean, the thing is, it's done by hand, isn't it? So you just go around it. You do it. Well, you can use back stitch. You can use running stitch entirely up to you. But I would do... Well, it's actually called double running stitch if you go and do it around twice. But I think that might be the same as saddle stitch. I'm not absolutely certain. Um, red. I love the red one. I don't know why, I think it's just it looks like school shoes. 
It feels very nostalgic. And if I had a navy bag, I'd have a red clasp. Love that one. Um, then we have navy. Yeah, if you had a red bag, you'd definitely have a navy clasp, wouldn't you? Well, you might have a navy clasp with your navy bag. And then I've left my favourite till last. A bit like the black um, fruit pastels or the dark purple wine gums. This. Mm. Oh, ben wants an orange PU bag with this clasp. I'm with you. But what I would like to do, this is my favourite one, and I don't know why, it's just the shade of green. $4.99, and it just feels just retro and glorious. But what I want to do is I want a bag with those two on, and possibly that one as well. That's cool, isn't it? But, you know, because they, they can be just used for decoration. So I'm thinking as well, crochet cardigan. You know, when you want, you need to put a toggles on it, you could put that across the front, couldn't you? So instead of a toggle, wouldn't that be gorgeous or knitted cardigan? I think that would be a fantastic fixings across. And at $4.99, that's really good. So um, if you're doing something, you know, when you've got a jacket, like a quilted jacket, and you don't want to put buttons on or you don't want it to overlap but you just want it to come together and I've got a couple of jackets like that that have no fixings but sometimes you want them to join together but you don't want them to overlap just because of the way they fit this is perfect because you can sew it on like this one piece to one side one the other and then they will meet exactly in the center and then you just got to open it with that and I'm thinking with all of these colors how nice would that look as a fixing across because that's what makes things it's like the hardware that makes a bag it's fixings like this that really make a garment so if you don't want to put a zip in a jacket or if something just those little quilted jackets rarely have fixings but they just butt up this is ideal anyway that's my suggestion i've lost my bag bet cat's pinched though that green one was in a little bag Oh, she's <laughs> There you go. I thought I'd lost the bag because I constantly lose things like that. Um, right, handles. Handles. I'm going to go with the black one first. Actually, now, Hayley Bryant, who's our marketing person, marketing, head of marketing, she crocheted a bag the other day. And she said to me, I need handles for it. And I said, I'm sure we've got them. Have a look. Because these are ideal because they, you get two straps they're, sh they're shoulder straps let me show you so you can see how they go and where's the other end so look they all they're like a tote bag length so they come down there but they come with the fixings so 8.99 that's a great price so these i mean if you've made a fabric bag they come with the little um rivets so in here there are holes so all you do is you put the rivet through the hole then you put it through whatever you're fixing it to ideal for crochet or something or you could just punch the hole if it's in fabric and then you put that end on and then you just give it a little tap I'm not going to stick it on and it will hold together just a little tap so if you've made a knitted bag a crochet bag maybe you've got a bit of tapestry fabric and you've made a bag so maybe you've got a beautiful piece of funnily enough which I'm going to do this William Morris fabric at 12 o'clock. Say, oh, I don't want to lose any of those. Say you've got a bit of this um, lovely William Morris tapestry and you want to make it super posh. Put your handle on there with, um, with the little rivets. That's such an easy way to, and again, it's this extra hard way that makes a difference. Pop a black tassel on it. Look, I've always made a bag lovely so that's the black one now remember in the in the pack for the 8.99 you get two straps and you get all of the rivets as well just put them to one side right we've also got them in um tan tan so i've just got to put these away because i'm going to lose some of them they're very little There we go, tan. Right, 
with the rivets. So eight ninety nine. This is amazing value, isn't it? So you get. I mean, it is faux leather. So. So you get eight eight ninety nine, and you get the two tan handles, and you get all of the little rivets that hold them together with the little snaps. And then the final one is dark brown, chocolate brown, dark brown, faux leather, two handles. They are, does it tell you how long they are? Oh, 28 inches in length. So they're perfect for to go over your shoulder. What's quite nice with this is that you can have you know quite a simple bag as in just one piece of fabric but by putting these handles on it just gives it that little extra zhuzh i think or if you wanted to make a bag from like a tea towel i love making bags from tea towels it's quite nice isn't it anyway so we've had a fab hour haven't we um i the books have gone but we've got some more hopefully we will let you know in the next hour about whether we've managed to get some more books we're definitely going to get them we're just trying to sort out codes and things but we have a fantastic another book we're launching two books today uh, another gorgeous book um called instant softies absolutely gorgeous they're very very achievable um soft toy projects brand new book to us we've got kits with fur sort of thick fur faux fur different so you can make bunnies you can make dogs which are called what are they called woofies the woofies um, Cara's going to be demonstrating how to make them absolutely gorgeous. You're going to love this show, so don't go anywhere. Um, I'll see you back here in a few minutes' time. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests, and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Uh, welcome back to Sewing Street. We've got another brand new book. So if this the last one's got anything to go by, you need to get the, yourself checked out on this. Instant Softies, absolutely gorgeous book. It's all about making soft toys, but easily. Now, I was chatting to Cara earlier because obviously she's made them. So she know you can machine sew them, you can hand sew them. They are absolutely fab, love them. Um, Written by Isabel Ewing. I always like to read about the author. She lives in Northern Ireland, just outside of Belfast. Um, who, she has a lifelong love of drawing, painting and sewing and is a seasoned crafter. So she has spent her, her life crafting. She sells her artwork to local shops and at um, St George's Market in the centre of um, Belfast as well. And this is her first book. So it's really lovely, isn't it, to encourage new craft authors. Um, and in this book, it explains all the techniques of how to make a softie, which I think is just another word for a soft toy, um, how to make your own softies with all of the different tips and techniques that you need. And then we've put together some kits for you. So I'm gonna start by going over to Cara and we're gonna have a look at the book. Seeing you know it inside out. <laughs> oh, you've got your own. Yep, got, got my your own. own, yes. So the price for this book, $16.99. Now this is ideal for anyone who's never made a soft toy, isn't it's it? It's such an easy um, pattern. Right. The, the back is the same for all the characters. And okay. the only difference is the front pieces. So there's a pair of pieces mm. to change the nose and things like that and the appearance. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so I presume at the beginning it talks about um, techniques and things. It certainly does and goes through, but they're so cute. They are so cute. Um, I want to get down the ones that you've, because you've made two of them, haven't I you? I have, yeah. Look, so these are the ones that Cara has made. That's the bear, <laughs> what's the bear called? Oh, I can't remember oh, his they've name. Got great gonna, names. They've, they've all got names. But I just love how scruffy he is. You know, I just the, the fur is just so sort of you can't 
keep that neat. I know, you? and this is, and Cara has made it, I've just got to see what his name is, because she's made the bear from one of the kits that we've got. No, the elephant's called an elephant. What's the, McBear. Is it McBear? Yes, McBear. So McBear is made from one of our kits. He is just delicious. He's scruffy, isn't he? He's ideal to give to a child as their, you know, the newborn for their first toy. Yeah. Obviously, you need to be aware of what you yes, put on the, it. Yes, the, the, um, you can have the option of proper eyes, safety mm. eyes, but then they're not for three right. years old. Um, but I've done French knots there and I've oh, okay. actually sewn the nose on. So that's up to you. But um, <coughs> that's McBear. And <laughs> this is Wolf Wolfie. Wolfie. Yeah. Isn't he gorgeous? And we've got a kit for him as well. Two different kits for him. But look at him with his little ears. I mean, he's just delicious, isn't he? Now, this book explains exactly. So if you never made a soft toy, this is the book for you. And you can make one of these. They're absolutely Love gorgeous, him. they really are. So if we go through the book, we start through with all of the basic stitches. So basic sewing, how to make them, how to under understanding the patterns. Yes, yes, it does take you right the way through. So if you're a sewer, but you've never made soft toys, this is a perfect Oh, thing okay, to, so if yeah. you think, well, I'd love to have a go at this, but I don't know how to, and yeah. I want to make one of these. How to stuff them, it's very important, I guess, the stuffing because that kind of it's about like features and stuffing it it's is the two things yes. isn't it i mean i tend to with soft toys um stuff them quite firmly right um and some people won't stuff stuff them quite firmly but you want to sort of make sure when you actually do stuff them um with this particular one i haven't put a massive amount of stuffing in this part of his arm. Oh, so I guess you I want feel that quite you can, firm, don't yeah, you? Yeah, firm sort of around his tummy. Mm. And then because this is all one piece, it's not like you're going to be putting the um, head on separately. Oh, of course, it's yeah. It's all one piece. It's not jointed or anything. Because that's often how it makes it difficult, yes. doesn't it? When you've got the head separately, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. And I like the fact that you've got a different fur for the outside of the ears and then you've got the fluffy for underneath as well yeah which that's is true really nice. and these are the safety eyes so oh, okay. these are the larger safety eyes i didn't have the small ones so i did the larger ones but the small ones are quite nice as well and look at his little nose a little felt nose i love him so that explains all the stuffing of them how to do the features how to make the the eyes and the noses because that's really important yes, isn't it yes it is and then you have the option you can actually do a little tummy panel oh that's so nice so you could do that in um, cotton fabric or you know yeah, another you could. alternative yeah. and that's um, where you can personalise them because you could embroider yes. that couldn't you yeah but with the name yeah. baby's first Christmas yeah nice <laughs> um, and then we move on to the animals themselves so this is where you can make them so the teddy bear softy is called McBear this is McBear I love McBear He's gorgeous, so isn't he? So she'll take you through step yeah. by step by step. And it really is so comprehensive that if you've never oh, done okay. any toy making before, it explains everything, you know, just um, just follow it through. And then if you want to stitch the nose, you can stitch the nose or you can put, so stitch it here or add a felt nose and then the actual right. you know, feature Right, so it really well. does, it's yep. not assuming any previous knowledge. No. Nope. Obviously, look exactly how to do it. Even you know the embroidery stitches. Rather than saying just stitch and mouth, it shows you exactly where you put your needle to take yes. it all the way through. And then adding the ears on my one, I didn't add paws, but you can add oh, um, okay. paws as well. I didn't because he's so fluffy that it, they wouldn't show. Right, but. Isn't that lovely? That that's the same pattern. Yes, and they look completely but different. Different, don't different they? fabrics and different the, yeah. the way that you do the ears and everything. Um, they are completely different. And I guess you could even just make them in cotton fabric. You don't have you, to make them in fur, exactly. do you? Exactly. You can. Yeah. So if you wanted to make like a memory bear, if you had yes. a special item of clothing, Definitely. be ideal for memory projects. Because I know a lot of people do that, don't they? They have certain items of clothing to yes. remember somebody. Yes. This will be a brilliant book for that. Uh, then we move on to Nellyphant. <laughs> and I like that because of the trunk there's no nose to place <laughs> I love the fact as well on each of them they've got accessories so right. you know there are detailed instructions at the end to actually um, make the different accessories so you can play around with all the characters mm. and everything okay and at the back of the book I'll show you that in a minute it shows you about all the accessories so there's Nelly Fant and again, how different. It looks like Granddad fabric. and Elephant. I don't know why. These the, they look like completely a red one. <laughs> looks like an American one, doesn't I it? I know. Yeah, stars and Stripes. Uh, little Mouse. 
really cute with a little hat and scarf. So again, you know, you make them in fur, make them in cotton, make them as mem a memory mouse, because I know loads and loads of people do that. And I think this is an ideal book for that because they're very cute. And they've got sort of like a ruffle around the neck or a scarf around the neck. Mm. You've got the hat, you've got, you know, different accessories. So, uh, Fab Foxy. Yes. He's so cute, isn't he? Love him. Look, he's even got like a little bandana. So again, the same basic pattern. So the same background mm. and this, uh, just the different side view. And then just the placement of the ears, which, which makes yes. the difference. Yeah, no, that's lovely, isn't it? And then it explains again all the way through. You've got really very clear diagrams of how to make everything. It looks very different there, doesn't completely, it? Completely, completely. And that's that's in um, sort of like a fleece, then with the tummy in a different mm. fabric. And then obviously the cotton fabric for the inside of the ears. Uh, Woofy, mm -hmm. I love Woofy. And we've got two kits for Woofy. So this is Woof Woofy in white. And I like, um, with the accessories and everything, you can use your scraps, mm. use your fat quarters. Well, you can also felt. make him look like your dog. Oh, definitely. Depending on what colors you put yes, in. Yes, definitely. Woofy is so cute. I think uh, they've also got a bit of a naive charm, aren't they? They look yes. sort of, they, they just look so cute, don't they? And as I say, I mean, I, I made one and mm. I thought, oh, I'm going to make another gonna one. Make another because one. it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long at all. <laughs> look at him, green one, green woofy. Look, um, he's got uh, like tweed on the outside I know. of his ears. Again, really good as a memory project because yes. you can use different fabrics for yep. different parts of yep. him as well. And then Neddykins, love that. Neddykins is a dependable horse softy that walks on two feet, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Like you do. He's got a he's got a halter on as well. <laughs> it says and don't a, forget, and a side saddle. <laughs> don't forget some pom poms or soft felt for flowing mane that cascades down the horse's back. Aww. That's such a good idea, isn't it? You could easily do that from the felt. Yeah, or, you could. So um, she gives instructions how I to add. I love the idea of having pom poms yeah. down the back. Yeah. I think that's really nice. Or you could have a mane. It looks completely the, different. I've got the top hat again. Um, and the rabbit softy. This is the one we're going to This do. is the other one that we have a kit because we have kits for the rabbits and the woofy dogs. So we'll, I'll go through those kits in a moment because we've got a couple of different colourways. There is a softy for every occasion, isn't there? <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. They're just beautiful. Well, look, then I love this chapter, outfits and accessories. This is fab, isn't it? Shoulder bag, obviously, because <laughs> every softy needs a shoulder bag. Um, Collar. That's yeah, the one I've done nice. there. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's yep. the one that um, Cara's done here. Just look a little collar. Mm -hmm. Lost the rest of his clothes. <laughs> Everything else disappeared. Was only left with the collar. <laughs> that's so cute. Um, a a ruffle. ruffle. A scarf. That's really sweet, isn't it? But that's the sort of thing. Imagine if you had a wedding and you could make this for one of the little mm. bridesmaids and the scarf could be made from the same the fabric. fabric. The bride, yeah. oh, I can just see that. Right, less than 15 of these books left and 22 of them in baskets. Oh, gosh. We're not going to so have another, another gonna have, one. We're, we're going to have, have another to... softy issue. Shawl. Top hat. Got to have a top hat. It's definitely. Definitely. An elephant. definitely. And with the horse. And add feathers. And actually, yes, yeah, so she's designed them so they all fit. So the, the top hat even fits between Neddykin's yes. Yes. <laughs> I love that name. Neddykin's ears. And a bow, yeah. need a bow tie. Oh yeah, then you've done that one. Yes. So I did that just with cotton fabric and then just felt on the center. Cute. Uh, and then all the patterns. So the patterns, um, again, you just trace them, trace around them. I, um, so this says on a fold, but mm. because the fabric was quite long hair, I decided that I'd actually make two halves oh, okay. and just yes, stick it yeah. together with sellotape. And there are markings on there that if you want to, you can actually transfer that onto well, the pattern. Well, they're the sort of thing you're going to use quite a lot, yes. aren't they, once you make one. So it's probably worth making proper decent patterns, Yeah, isn't and it? The, the back is used for all of them. Oh, so, OK, so you make know, a good back. Yeah, so it's really good to make a good back. And then I just traced some of the others. And uh, that's the bunny one, of course. And then that looks really odd. I know, <laughs> but you do two of those, and then you're going to stitch from here. Of course, yeah. Down just to there. I guess that's the fat tummy bit. Isn't yes, it? <laughs> yeah. Then you've got the bunny ears. 
and then this is the tail, the bear, and there's the bear. Oh, of course, so each soft yep. has a different bob front. Yes, and then this one is the, the dog. dog. Yeah. With the ear. Yeah, it is worth actually making proper templates in these because you're going to use them so often, but there's no enlarging. No, need, need no to enlarging be doing, So all the templates are in there. Right, so for the kits, I'm going to, shall I go over to the other side, actually? I'll leave it all over here. So white woofy is this one, isn't it? Yeah? So you're going to make a lot of woofies from this kit. Honestly, honestly, um, half a meter. I <laughs> I had half a meter, and I'm. I think it's the same for all the yeah. fabrics. I cut one of the bunny out with matching ears, mm. and I could get four. Wow! So you could width. make four woofies. Yep. From one kit. Yeah. Twen now twenty nine ninety nine. That includes the book. So twenty nine ninety nine, and there's enough fabric to make four. Woofies. And that's all in one fabric. Yeah, so, so if four. you've got the bundle, yeah. does the bundle come with both colours? Uh, well, you get the white, which is used for the body. Yeah. You get the grey that's used for just the lining of so the ears. So you'll be able to make more than more, four. More, because actually you will have a, you only need a little bit for lining the yes. ears. Yes, so what you can do is, is make use, some... You can have white woofies, yes, or four grey. white woofies, four grey woofies. Yep. Because you also... This is a ridiculous price, isn't it? You also get half a metre of yellow gingham. Yes. Which is just used for the bow tie. Yep. So in <laughs> wow. fact, so in fact that although we're saying that's woof woofy. Woofy? Woofy. Yes. Um you can use that those colours for any for of the any, designs. Yeah. So actually what you can do is you can make one woofy and then you could make an elephant. Because yep. the elephant would be lovely in the grey, wouldn't it? So actually in the kit, because you get the book with the kit, you could probably make one of all of the animals yes. out of this, depending on which colour you used where. Because you're getting half a metre of the grey. Um, this is like a fleece. It's nice actually. It's, it's got a slight rib to it. It's got yeah, it's almost like like a rib, like a it's not a corduroy, but it's got a slight rib to it. You've got a long furred white, a long fur white you've got this gray fleece you've got half a meter of the yellow gingham and you get the book you could have a whole softy stall couldn't you, you? definitely can to 29.99 for all of that that's amazing price isn't it 29.99 right so that's that one then we have brown woofy which again has the book it has this gorgeous fur that's um <laughs> i would warn everybody yes that the fur when fabric you use the fur everywhere. you will have fur everywhere once you've made it you'll be fine but it's got a nice long pile to it it's lovely fur isn't it make a nice oh i'd like a little rucksack in this <laughs> in fact, what i'll do is i'll make a brown woofy and i make myself always fancied a little furry rucksack feels lovely and then it's got yellow well ochre do you think like Mustard? a gold gold yeah. that's better but again even the short sort of more velvety fur fabric the the bits go everywhere it, yeah does it what even this what about yes. this fleece yeah. actually the fleece is probably the only one that's okay isn't it no the fleece the fleece yeah does go everywhere okay get your hoover out before you start <laughs> and you also get half a meter of the yellow gingham so you've got absolute load of fabric so you could make all of the animals in the book oh actually i've got that the wrong way around it's even nicer there that are side, two, isn't it? two sides to the yeah fleece. there is isn't yeah. there so that side is a slightly different length it almost looks like a different length of pile as well yes. doesn't it Okay, uh, absolutely loads. This is amazing value for money. For twenty nine ninety nine, you're getting the book with all of those animals and all of those techniques, and you are getting a meter and a half of fabric. So the long fur, the fleece, and the cotton, twenty nine ninety nine. Amazing price. More kits. We've got the pink bunny, which is this one. Uh, then we've got we've got the white fur in this one. So this is the one that Carl is going to be showing us how to make. 
and then you get the pink fleece. So this is $26.99. So you remember you get the book, you get the white half meter of white fur, and you get the pink fleece. This one is um is less because you haven't got the the cotton fabric because you don't need it for this one. So you can make either a white bunny or a pink bunny. Or yep. both, can't you? Or mix. Or have, mix some yeah. white ones up. But again, you can have enough to make four bunnies. At least. Well, at least, because you can make four white bunnies and probably four pink bunnies. What I'll do is when we come over here, I'll show you how much fabric I've got left from okay. one of them. So this is great, isn't it? Because I think once you've got that book and when you realise, well, the back pattern for all of them is exactly the same. So once you've made one, you're then going to want to make all of them. So there we go. That's the pink bunny. And then the final kit that we have is grey bunny. So with this one, you get the... The fur fabric for this one is the, the long pile is the grey for this one. It's a nice grey actually because it's a very... It's lovely, it's like a charcoal It grey, is very isn't dark, it? Yes. isn't it? I quite like that one. And then you also get the white fleece in this one. So again, grey bunnies, white bunnies. That is absolutely super soft. Really beautiful, isn't it? lovely for toy making that's really really super soft um okay now if you want the fur fabric on its own we have we can get have have it on its own if you don't want the book and you don't want the kits and whatever you just want it all options are available so if you just want the white fur that is 5.99 for half a meter and that's the one with the long pile so that's the one that the teddy was made of that I showed you earlier. Cut to order as well. So if you want six meters of it, just put 12 units in your basket and tell me what you're going to make with it. <laughs> a coat for the winter. A coat for the winter, <laughs> yes. Like, why would you want six meters of fur? <laughs> right, the cream super soft, um, like fleece. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is, it is so soft and honestly, so you, you use this for making clothes. You can, and also for backing a quilt. Oh, I never, a, yes. A play mat or, or something. Or just else. make a blanket from it. Because yes. it is absolutely velvety soft, it isn't is. it? Make a lovely jumper. Make <laughs> nice pyjamas for the winter. Can you imagine those <laughs> when the heat impacts up? And you've got, oh, oh my gosh. It, it's like velvet, <laughs> but it's fleece. Just 3 99 for half a metre. And it is super soft. Right, which which is next? <laughs> the brown fur. So we've got the brown fur. This is the long length fur. Make a nice bean bag. The other thing I've just thought about is that you can enlarge the patterns and make a, a mummy bear and a daddy bear oh, and a little baby what? bear. Yeah. So oh, there's could. enough fabric there to yeah, do that. Yeah, so with your kit, you could yeah. do all three, mummy, daddy. Oh, how nice. So that's a great idea. Just get, if you just photocopy them, enlarge them, you can. So that's the brown fur, £8.40 for half a metre. Grey fur. Grey fur. Again, this is your long length fur. So it's got a nice, it's really good for soft toys or jackets. <laughs> £8.40 for half a metre of that one. Um, then we've got the pink fleece, pink super soft fleece, absolutely gorgeous fabrics in this aren't there? It's lovely isn't it? So that's, and that's really velvety soft again, it's beautiful. So that's the pink fleece, Three ninety nine, and then the last one I think is the gold fleece. Oh yeah, and this dark grey fleece, no, almost. The last one, second to last, the penultimate fleece is this beautiful velvety soft gold fleece, 3 99 for half a metre. And the last fleece is the charcoal one. Right, there we go, 3 99 for the dark grey super soft fleece. That's the last one. Right, we do have um, another special announcement. We have loads of special announcements. I'll come over to you. We've got some more books. We've got some more books. It's amazing. We've sold out twice now. 
no. is ridiculous. No. Ridiculous. I think this is it. Is this the final one, Ben? Can we actually go anymore? They, get, they keep phoning the publisher going, can we have some more? Can we have some more? Um, so we've got more. Stitch Textile Animals. Absolutely gorgeous book. Now, it was 15 99 but we managed to do it because it's a special launch for us. It's a new book and we wanted to give it to you as a special price, 10 99 Now, if you weren't with us at nine o'clock, where why? were you? Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and then you weren't with us at 10 o'clock, it sold out again. This is a gorgeous book. Let me show you the um, cushion that Cara made. So for those of you who've missed out, quickly get it in your basket. For those of you who weren't here, this is the sort of thing that you can make. You can create from mm. the panel and from the book. And um, yeah, enjoy. Absolutely so, enjoy. And it's not, it's a book that's ex it's extremely accessible as well. It's not written for people who have to be massively artistic or wonderful at drawing. It explains to you, I mean, you, there are projects in the book for the fox and the hare and the sausage dog, let me show you, um, that are actual projects with templates at the back of the book. So they've actually got templates. So if you want to follow it exactly and you want to make, for example, the, the mouse, or look at the fox on the back of a jacket, or you want to make the fox, there are templates in the back that explain exactly how to make it. So you don't need to be artistic to do it. So if you've always wanted to have a go at stitched textiles, but don't know how to do it yourself, it explains step by step. There's also um, instructions for the projects to make the sausage dog. Look, isn't he delicious? And the hair as well but what's great is it also explains so if you if you want to be a little bit more adventurous and you would actually like to create your own textile art it explains how to do it yourself so what she shows you at the beginning of the book is how to take um, a picture or a photograph and how to turn it into a piece of textile art yourself so maybe you've got a sketch or a photo how to create this tonal map which is basically the where the colors go and how to cut out the little pieces so you can either follow her instructions and make something as beautiful as this Ooh, and the right way and that's just from templates that Cara made with beautiful mach free machine embroidery as well again explain step by step now we've already sold 50 half of these new ones have gone if you want the book you need to get it checked out um, but she also explains and I think it's probably worth having it if you've never done this before have a go at the one with the instructions. Yeah, one of the projects and also hopefully um, watch the programme as well, which explains the techniques because there are different techniques. Mm. Um, but have a go with one of the projects that's actually got the templates and everything and then go off and do your own thing. Right, because then you would be inspired to go, well, OK, so this is how the technique works. But she explains really simply uh, um, how to do it doesn't she? She does, She's definitely. Fan fantastic, yep. fantastic book. And, and um, Letitia, well, Mrs B, yes. has been watching and is so chuffed that so many of you have bought her book and have sent her that message just, you know, to thank everybody because it's wonderful. Isn't it lovely, you know, when you've spent all this time creating a book and, you know, this baby, is... baby, isn't it? I know, but this is something baby. that that she does herself and is absolutely brilliant and to be able to pass that on to other mm. people. And it was lovely to share with everybody here. Mm. So, yeah. Good. And it really, and because it explains it step by step, you too can achieve this. Anyway, we only have 50 left now. So if you want one of them, you need to get it in your basket and get it checked out. Right. We will let you know how it's gone. Right. So where do we start with, with okay. our softy? So um, I just wanted to show you, I didn't have the pink fabric until I came in today. And I thought, oh, yes, that would be nice for a bunny. So um, let's just take the pattern pieces. The um, fleece has got a short sort of velvet side and then a longer side on the back. And you can tell there's a pile. So if you brush your hand that way, it's nice and smooth. Oh yeah, yeah. If you brush it this oh. way, okay. Mm. Doesn't matter as long as the pile is the same for all the pieces. Right, what okay. you don't really want to do is mix and match yeah, it the pile. Yeah, it funny. So um, I'm just gonna turn that round. And then you've got, can you see the difference? So this is the longer So in theory, part. that's probably the right side, isn't it? <laughs> but I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. And then this is the other one. So it's that's a softer. shorter, more velvety. Yeah. 
But then it, again, if you put your hand going that way, you can see the difference mm. in the pile. But as I say, you don't need to, as long as you do the pattern pieces always in the same direction. Yeah, yeah fair okay. enough. Yeah. So I cut one of them out and this is what I'm left with. Oh, wow. Let me move my books out of the way. Which is why you can get four. Oh, yes. You've got a lot there, So, you, you know, divide that into three like that. And then you can put your pattern pieces on. So there's the back. And then you've got the bunny. So one of them there, sorry. There you go. Yeah, one of them there, one of them up there. And you want to make sure that right. you swap them over. And then you cut out either two is and then use the other fabric for right. the so inside of the outside. So you'll easily get three. You'll get four it. right out of the full width because okay. I've already cut one out. Of course, yes. Sorry. So yes, you'll get course, you'll yes, easily yes. get out of one of these pieces of fabric. You will easily get four. But if you've got two pieces of fabric, you, which you, you have in the could kit, have yeah. eight. Wow. So that's loads. So I mean, the price of the kit is amazing. Twenty six ninety nine. You get half a meter of this beautiful, super soft pink, and the book, and half a meter of the white fur as well amazing value for money i just think um you know and then as you said you can actually make you know a lot of the characters Lots of them so yes. make a family of them um yeah i love the know. idea of enlarging them and making yes. mummies and babies yes so that is lovely and it's beautiful fabric anyway mm -hmm. so if you're buying it by the half meter um it's really nice so the um options are to um machine it on the machine or like hand stitch baby. it <laughs> hand stitch it okay so because some people much prefer hand stitch and don't want to do machine sewing so you, you could hand sew these you can oh here we go so i just wanted to show you how you hand stitch it so i've got a very thick like a button thread okay that i use i don't know if we sell this sort of thread on i don't know extra strong thread I yeah think it's, it's just extra strong and I've actually doubled it because if you're doing it for a child, you don't want the seams yeah, to come that's apart. True. Yes. So I'll just show you how you would start. And um, all the instructions are included in here. Oh, OK. So it does tell you about, yep. about does it explain about hand sewing? Yes, it does. Oh, OK. Yes. I'll show you. Um, all the different stitches. So the threading the needle, the double stitching, so that's when your threads double, running stitch or back stitch. Mm. With toys, I tend to do a back stitch just because I think that the, the seam's going to be right. nice yeah. and strong. Um, so you just find the character that you're going to be working. So it's the bunny, wasn't it? The rabbit. And you take your ear, I just want to show you and you're going to actually stitch from the bottom so here and then all the way around and leave a gap and you're going to turn at the bottom oh okay okay right um just I, I may not do that because i'm going to sew that on the machine so i'm just going to grab some of this and show you so you have two layers of fabric together and start with a knot and you're going to go back a stitch and then forward a stitch and then just pull it through. Your stitches will sink into the pile of the fabric. So you go back a stitch and forward a stitch. And this is, it's very therapeutic if you're sat watching the telly or something like that. You can just sit and go through well, sometimes that's not, that's what's nice to have a hand sewing project it as well. Is. But you can machine sew. This is entirely yeah. up to you. But if you want to hand sew it, you certainly can. And I guess the joy of using fur and fleece is that the stitches sink, sink they sink they sink, sink a little into bit. it. You can't you don't have to see be quite so perfect. even though I've I've done it in cream thread. <laughs> you can't see where my stitches mm. are. But if we open that up now... So again, this is something that you could do with children as well. Definitely, definitely. I've um toy making to lots of different ages and one of my first jobs no my second job was actually um in a school and teaching crafts 
and the girls just loved they were teenagers mm. absolutely loved making the toys and oh, they did wow. them all by hand mm. we didn't have um, a sewing machine there so that's how you do your hand stitching um, but for speed I'm going to do this on the machine did I put my hair so um, quarter of an inch seam allowance you'll pin your um, pieces together I've actually gone a bit rogue here <laughs> so I've got one side of my um, ear is going to be the soft velvety oh, side okay. and yeah. the other side is going to yeah, be that why not? so I just thought just for a change. Just give it a slight a bit of difference. Yeah. So it's not the car was sewn ears together wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter. No, but, um, but that but is I deliberately. That's the nice thing about when you buy these fleeces is yes. that they do have different sides. So yeah. you can use that to your advantage. Definitely, definitely. And um, the other thing that I would say is when you're actually um, marking your pattern out on the fabric, I tend to use the Sharpie. Right. Because of the depth of the actual um, fur fabric. So I use a Sharpie, um, but when I'm drawing round, my Sharpie is actually going round the outside. And when I cut it out, you can see I cut the Sharpie colour uh, off. Oh, OK. But so you're not left. It's the only way you're really going to draw on, yes, isn't it? Yes, yeah, because you're not going to be able to. Um, maybe Taylor's chalk, um, but a fine pen mm. won't, won't um, go onto the fabric. So. Or I guess you just cut out around the pattern. Exactly, exactly. Right, so... Walking foot helps, definitely. Um, you want to do a couple of stitches backwards and forwards to start with. And then I've just pinned these together with pins. But if you've got um, quilting clips, you can use those. The only thing that I would say is just every once in a while, just lift your foot up to clear the fur fabric. And then just work your way around. And it's approximately Oh, this is what I love about um, soft toy making. It's approximately a quarter of an inch. Okay. It's not yeah. like when you're doing um, quilting and things like that, where it's got to be an exact quarter of an inch. Um, it's we only have two books left, oh, two gosh. instant softy books left. Um, we have obviously got them in the kits, but we, if you want to buy it without being in the kit, one instant softy left. Only one. <laughs> Then we do, I mean, obviously, if you buy the kits, which are amazing value for money because of all the fabric you get. I've still got fur up my nose. I um, know, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> then you, you, we still have them in the kit. So this, you can see the fleece goes through the machine really, really easily. Mm. But as I say, a walking foot does help. And then you'll leave a gap for turning. And if I could ask you to turn for me, I'll I carry can on do with that. the next one easily have you got yeah a pokey tool um i've got mine but all right i'll borrow here. that one yeah the one i i use a a stick yeah or no i can use a turn i use the yeah. stick of a turning tool yeah um as i say then just double the stitches at the end because you don't want the seams to come apart the only thing that i would suggest is actually just making sure that you haven't come off the edge but you can see very clearly that we've yeah, gone I right guess just the way check around. On the other yeah. side, that's a good idea. And then we've just got a little gap. I hope that's big enough yeah, for I can you to turn. I can do that while I with do my the next magic one turning tool. with your magic turning tool. The uh, the other thing that I would say is once you've stitched using fleece, please clean your machine afterwards. Yes, because yes. you might wonder why it's not working properly, and it, you'll yeah, open do it. Do clean your machine? It yeah, will be full of open, fluffness. Yeah, you'll open the spool and think, oh my gosh, where's all that coming? Well, from? I find with my machine, that's usually the first thing that's wrong with it. But it starts yes. jumping and skipping. Yes, it's because it's fluffed up. I've fluffed up, or I haven't um, threaded it properly. Yeah, I I find now it's it's the fluffed up is the worst yes. thing. Yes. Yeah, and I'm amazed, even with um, quilting fabrics, how much lint there is. Yes, absolutely loads. Um, you know, you really are surprised. So once you've turned it... I've done that. Okay. Just putting your seams on the edge. That's lovely. Um, right here. So we, we tuck that in. Are you up for a little bit of hand stitching? Yeah, go on then. Um, we tuck that in and either do a whip stitch or a ladder stitch just to close okay. that. Um, got threaded needle lovely okay 
um, I will show you as well on the um, characters that I've done. With the long-haired fur, mm. you can't help but catch the fur in the seam. Right, so yes. So what you can do is go around afterwards with a pin and just pull the fur out. <laughs> and it means that um, because it's been yes. caught in the seam, it just means that it comes out and makes the seams disappear, really. Yeah, I see if, what you mean. If you don't, then you, you are very clear where the seams are. Yes, so if you just, yeah, just pull it all up, particularly with yes. the long one, yeah, I get yes, what you mean. Yes, with the long one. I mean, it's the same with the, this one, the fleece, but um, it's not quite so obvious. This is lovely having you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, quite like it really. I don't mind doing the helping bits. So again, that's the right side. I'm just going to turn it over and just double check. Don't worry, um, you'll see where the, um, the, the foot on the machine's been. That will come out. So don't worry about that. So that's your second one. Lovely. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to show you was just, that's there, this is the bunny. So the next thing is actually stitching the bunny together. So there are marks on the pattern piece and these are important marks. One is for the eye. Mm. and the other one is actually where you're going to be stitching from. So all I've done is I've actually just popped that on the pattern there and I've just popped a pin in. So that's where I'm going to be starting and I'm going to be finishing just down here. Ah, okay, so, so that's important. Yes, so I'm just going to pop another pin in there. And as I say, the, the quilting um, clips are really good for this as well. Okay. So we're going to stitch, I'll stitch from the bottom upwards. I do love toy making. I've, I've oh, it's so lovely, yes, isn't it? Yes, I've done it a lot with, um, with jobs that I've had. Okay. And um, obviously when I went to DMC, we didn't do sort of toy making, so I really missed it. So it was really, really nice to come back <laughs> to it here. Do it all again. Yes. It is a lovely thing to do because it's just like little pieces, isn't it? Yes. So you can sort of spend your time on them a bit more. So it's quite a nice thing to do. Yeah, I used to work at a day centre for physically handicapped and elderly people in London. And they just loved making toys. Yes, they well, really I think did. Everybody's strange, isn't it? Because I think everybody loves it, likes yep. making toys. And this is a great book. So this is really good if you've never made toys before. And I like the fact that you can hand sew them or machine sew them. Yes. Because it doesn't exclude anyone, though. Because we often get um, viewers who message in and go, I only like hand sewing, what yes. projects? Can that be done? And sometimes yes. they can't. There are some projects you just, it's not going to work on hand sewing. No, it's funny. Um, was it Kelly? I can't remember her other name. But um, she did beautiful dolls. And um, she oh, always yes. hand stitched yes. them. And I thought, oh, was gosh. it Louise Kelly? Yes, that's the from one from Ireland. Yes, used to be on Sewing Quarter. Yes, yes, and she used to do hand stitch ones. Yes, and, and you know, I thought, gorgeous. oh gosh, you know, I'm I'm worried that my hand stitching is not going to be good enough. But oh, her toys were beautiful. Yes, weren't they? on um, fur fabric, as yeah. you said earlier, it doesn't matter because you can't. Well, I like see. this because you know I've sort of turned the edges under and then <laughs> sort of sewn it, but then you could just like run your nail over it and and you can't see my stitches anymore. <laughs> so we're just coming to the top of the head. As I say, if you're going around a curve, just lift your foot up every once in a while and then I'm just going to reach where the pin is and we're just going to go backwards. Only thing I've not brought and I don't know if we've got here is um, a bag of stuffing. I've got a bag of stuffing out in the, um, the back so just going to check. So again, yes we have got stuffing. I'll just go and find it. I'm sure it's on here. So you will need stuffing obviously. So that's your ah, got it. Front can't have an unstuffed softy. Can no. You? So um, that's your front of your bunny with a lovely big tummy, and then I've gone for the velvety side, which is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get my needle. <laughs> <You> just <laughs> give us that like. <laughs> Actually, on a headband or something mm, like that, yeah, you could do that. Quite good, you? wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Um, right, so on the back of the body, right, I've got, um, so we're doing velvet to velvet. So on the back of the body, again, you've got some markings. So that's the center. So we want to match the seam to the center there and pop a pin in. I'm going to just bring the pins over. And you just match the raw edges and see how easily they go together. So that's why, you know, if you're doing the hand stitching. Yeah, it's it really worth is. having, I mean, because you've got some pins here, it's worth having glass headed pins, isn't it? Yes. Really? So you can actually see them. Yes. But you only need a few to pop in there. Or fabric clips. Yes, the, the, the quilters clips would be perfect. And then what you're going to do is machine all the way around. And if there's time, I'd like to do that. Always time. <laughs> Always time to finish um, a bunny. Because I'd like to show how to do the, if we've got the time, how to do the eyes. We got 10 minutes. Oh, OK. How fast can you sew? Um, I, might put, <laughs> I might put the safety eyes in then. Okay. The, yeah, the hand. I can show you. So we have got the safety eyes. Now these are fab. I think these are worth having. Can I just do while well, you're pinning that and sewing it, Carl? I'm just going to yeah. go through the eyes because we've got different ones, and these are great. I know whenever we have these, we used to have these a lot on Yarn Lane. Loads of soft toys there, and they are really handy for that. They were, so this pack, they're different sizes. These, the six eyes in each one. These are twelve mil. So they're black plastic, 12 mil eyes. These are really, these are fine for these, these, this kind of like your standard soft toy size. These are 12 mil, this HVZM21. You haven't got those? Oh. They might be on the website. Right, have you got KBZW35? Hey! Oh, they might have sold out. That might be why. So these are six mil. They always sell really well. So these are the little eyes. So these will be fine for the animals. It just depends which size you want. Yeah, the little ones. Um, let me just grab. So these, these are the big ones. And to me, they're a little bit big for this oh, size okay. of character. Right. So the little ones would be well, you know, really good. And the little ones are very similar to the French knot eyes that I've put there. Oh, okay, so, so these six mil eyes would be ideal then. Um, you get 10 eyes in a pack. So actually, that'll make five woofies or rabbits or toys. So if you've got one of the kits, if you get one of these packs, that will be enough to make all of them. Um, but the other pack we've got, OHZW20, have you got that one? Right, these are the same. So these are 10 mil, but these are amber. Oh, nice. Oh, I've not seen those ones. Because that's like Teddy, isn't it? So they're yes. amber, but they have like a black pupil. Well, you can see on the picture there. Oh, they nice. have like a black pupil in the centre. That'd be gorgeous on the brown there. Yeah. And on the white. 99p. 99p and you get... Uh, how many pieces? Did it say six? Can't see on if the If they're the little the eyes, yeah. It's usually six. And obviously pack. it says things like, do not use for children under three years. But you know that, so that's perfect. Um, what else I wanted to show you, oh, was the turning tool. That's ideal for turning ears on, inside out. The prim turning tool is my favourite tool. All time favourite. It's the best way to turn things right sides out. 7 99 and you've got two sizes here, the large one and small, depends what you're doing, they are ideal. There we go. And lastly, well, is the pins, because when you are pinning um, fur and fleece together, then magic pins are ideal just because they're sharp, but also because you can see the ends on them. And by being able to see the plastic ends on them means you can actually find them in your fur and take them in and out so they're quite good for that and do you sew any limbs on do i sew yeah because we've got doll needles um what you can do is actually make the um the the character of the face 
by if you're doing um, French knots for the eyes, oh, you can actually pass your needle right. backwards and forwards. But I have to, to say, these are sculpt these the are fab. They are. I mean, they are great for sewing limbs on, like ears, or yes. for shaping faces. But they are also brilliant. They're only one forty nine. I have them all the time. They're really good for um, when you're sewing buttons on cushions. You yes. know, when you get outdoor because you have a button on one side and a button on the other. It's the only way you can get through a cushion. Yes. Is with these doll needles. £1.49, they're brilliant. And you get three different lengths as well. I think it's fantastic value. Right, I'm going to come back. How are we getting on? We're nearly ready for you to um, turn. Nearly ready. And then we'll... Um, I don't know whether I'll pop the eyes in or not. I might do. So um, have we got any books left, Ben? Right, so the Instant Softies book on their own has gone. But we do have them in the kits. So they are getting extremely limited. Um, white Woofy is the most popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in White Woofy, you get um, white fur fabric and grey super soft fleece fabric and you get yellow gingham half a meter of each of those and the book for 29.99 as fantastic value so you can make four white woofies or four gray woofies but there's absolutely loads of fabric there you'll be absolutely fine with that 29.99 for that one if you want brown woofy you get brown fleece fab fur fabric so the long pile fur fabric and I think you get gold, gold, I got to look. Oh, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just come over here because Carl's still sewing. So you, for the brown woofy, you get brown fur, half a metre, gold fleece, half a metre, yellow gingham, and you get the book as well. Um, if you want to do bunnies, but remember, you can use any of these fabrics for any of them. So although it's called white woofy, it, it doesn't have to be. You can use whatever. If you want to make grey bunny, you get dark charcoal grey long pile fleece. You get this beautiful ivory, super soft um, fleecy fabric, really velvety, super soft. And the book, $26.99. It is the only way that you can get the book now. We have not got the book left on its own. Um, Pink Bunny next is you get half a metre of the white long pile fur and you get half a metre of the pink super soft fleece and the book, 26.99. We do not have the book left on its own, but it's worth getting this bundle because you're getting the book, but you're also getting, a, well, a, for the bunny, you're getting a metre of all of this fleece and fur that you can make loads and loads of different animals with which is amazing, isn't it? Right. Nearly there. Are you nearly there? Yeah, nearly there. I've made the ears. Excellent, I'm speed, speeding up now. Speeding up. <laughs> Just so. It does look like a pink jelly baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if we can, so you're leaving um, a turning gap um, just at the top of the outer, one of the outer legs. So let me just. And I presume it tells you where the turning yes, gap is. Yes, you've got oh, a okay. um, diagram here, just here. Oh, okay. So that shows you. So oh, they yeah. do take you through step by step. And um, they do, what's beautiful is they do give you all the information about the features as well. Mm. So making the features. So we're just going to go down this arm. I'm hoping that I haven't left any gaps, but if I have, I have. Well, yes, when you do it yourself at home, yeah. I guess you need to just check that. Yeah, you would check. But if I can ask you to um, turn this, that would be wonderful. Yes, I will do. Thank you. If this is anything, just double, double check. Maybe under the arms, but we'll just yeah, turn not in. too bad. Yep. Because we're running out of time. So nope, I'm do that's it. fine. Oh, might take the pin out. Oh, yep. Thought I'd take more. That's why those um, other headed pink pins yes, would be. Yes, because just so you can see. Yeah, really good. Um, shall I put a little eye in or the big eye? We didn't have the code for the. No, we didn't. I don't no. know why. I think we. I think they sold out. Okay. 
And this um, fur turns out really nicely as well. Yes. Because it's very soft. So when you try to, because it's only a little gap, but because it's so soft and squidgy, it goes through quite well. Yes. So this is where I was talking about the seams. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, when you've got a long pile yeah. of the fur fabric, you can see that some of the piles actually caught in the seam. So you just go over it with a pin and just lift that out. And it just means that your seams are covered with the fur. Yeah. So um, just find it much, much easier. Oh, right. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes actually you see toys, don't you, where you yeah. can really see the seam. That's right. I guess right. they, cause they haven't right. spent time doing so, that. So, yeah, just like for the ears as well, you can do that. It's very, very therapeutic, very satisfying going around <laughs> picking, out, <laughs> picking out the fur yeah, that's been caught. Yeah, I can imagine. So if you just give it a poke with a stick yep. to push out all the edges. So I'm just poking it with a stick. Yep. To just no push. problem. Or um, I use a cocktail stick or um, well, that's one why of I these. love the turning tool because it yes. comes with free cocktail sticks. Cocktail stick. What's this? No, it's not. Kebab. Kebab stick. Or uh, no, chopstick. China. Chopsticks. <laughs> chopsticks. Oh, because I have ke ke those metal kebab skewers, which oh, are quite they're good. good. But yeah. the long, but the sort of fat ones with the yeah. flat heads, not the yeah. really pointy ones. Right, I think that's the whole jelly baby. It's looking more like a rabbit. Angie <laughs> <laughs> looks really funny with no ears, oh, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. So um, what we want to do is there's the nose. So your eyes are going to be just down. So you'll make a tiny little snip in the fabric. And you want to um, match them side by side. Um, So it's going to be about here. It's mm. not going to be exact. I would take a lot longer at home to get it exactly. To do right, it. Yeah. yeah, you don't want a big hole. Can I just ask you to take out? And then you'll take the eye with the shank, pop that through the hole. Can you see? Yes. Okay. I think you're right. I think these little ones are nice. There's yes. something about having little eyes that give it quite a character, don't yes. they? And then you just press the plastic on the back. And if, I don't want to break my nail. <laughs> well, they are safety eyes. I mean, you still shouldn't use them for children. No. But the reason they're called safety eyes is that, is that the way that the disc pushes on, they won't come out. So they are safer. Yeah. So you would actually just press that down. Again, I would take a lot longer and to then make sure. The eye. Yeah. So I haven't put it Perfect. on properly. Brilliant. Thank okay, you so and much. then the and ears. And then you tack those on afterwards. Yeah. Well, you say them on afterwards. Yeah. So you pop those either side, and Perfect. that makes it look like oh, a bunny. Good. Well, that's brilliant. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Cara. Okay. That's fast. No problem. Now the only way you can get hold of the instant softies is to buy the kits. The books have gone completely on their own, but we still have a small number of the kits left if you go onto sewingstreet.com click on watch live you can see them all there if you want to see individual pictures um the textile animals that have sold that has sold out twice and we've now only got a few left of these now not many at all so the textile animals it's the last time we're going to be able to order them they're fed up with this phone in them so we're not going to get any more <laughs> um we the the over half of these went straight away for the third lot. We have a few left. So if you want to be able to make these stitch textile animal absolutely gorgeous, um, very, very accessible book in that um, it, the author holds your hand. She definitely you does. Do definitely does. And you, you can make a beautiful fox cushion like Cara did. Look at that. Gorgeous. Anyway do get checked out on that. Thank you so much, Cara. When will you, you be back with us? End of September. Okay, we will see you then. That's going to be funny. Are you coming back bye for bye. Christmas then? Christmas, yes. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Brilliant. Some of my own designs, Lovely. Hopefully. We will see you end of September. Excellent. Um, I will see you in a couple of minutes' time for our final hour of Sewing Street today. Lots and lots. We've got some sewing machines I'm going to be going through because we've got one of our sewing machines with a £500 saving, which is quite good, isn't it? Um, and some other items just saying calico bolt okay i'll see you back here in a few minutes time
If you're a sewing street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Street, look, we've got the calico bolt. In fact, I'm just going, I'm just going. Oh no, I'm gonna have to bring it back. That's a shame. I would love one of these a 25 meter bolt of calico. I mean, it's just like the best thing ever, isn't it? Only 124.99. Now, it's pre shrunk calico, we use it all the time. It's brilliant if you are a dressmaker and you want to make twirls, but it's also just gorgeous in its own right. If you buy the whole bolt, you are going to save £24.50. £24.50, that's amazing. Um, not only that, because it's over £99.99, we can give it to you on split pay. So if you would rather spread the cost of payments but not pay any interest for it, we can do it over two equal payments of £62.49. So you pay £62.49 today, we send you the bolt, and then you pay the other £62.49 next month. It's brilliant for um, lining items. It's just lovely to use as itself. It makes gorgeous bags. It makes lovely cushions. We use it a lot in homewares. If you want to make an apron, it's lovely. I mean, for dressmakers, a lot of dressmakers will always keep a whole bolt of calico because they can use it for all of their twirls. I love using it in patchwork quilts because I think it's a really lovely addition when you put it next to any print fabric. So I'm currently making a quilt at the moment, a red and, well, I was going to make a red and white quilt, then it was going to be a red and cream quilt because I've got loads of lovely mode of red fabrics. But I went for calico because calico has that real sort of homespun, traditional appearance to it because it has those tiny little flecks of the, um, the seeds in it. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, let me just warn you, we've got this back but we can only get so much. I don't know why they only send us so much at a time. Maybe it's to do to the fact there's bolts. We have, the, there are less bolts left, so fewer bolts left than the number of people we have who have it in their baskets. So if you want the bolt of calico, you need to press the checkout button. It's no good just being in your basket because it's not yours. Once you've checked out, it's yours, it's safe. It'll be winging its way to you. But until you've checked out, it's not yours. But if you've got to do a quilt and you want to do some big borders for it, this is an extremely affordable, cost-effective way of doing it. If you make to sell and you think, well, I'd like to make a load of just simple tote bags, um, they're great for make for doing with children because they can do printing on them, they can do embroidery on them, even curtains. I used to have a neighbour who made, always made curtains from calico, but all those kind of homeware things. So it's a quilting weight and it's pre-shrunk. So some calico isn't pre-shrunk. Hi Rebecca, I've just cut into my bolt of calico for linings for my Christmas gift bags from Christine. Uh, yes, exactly. Now that's what I would use them because it's not like because it's calico, it's beautiful, isn't it? You know, quite often you will buy kits that come in 
drawstring calico bags you think oh I love that but yeah it's wonderful it's just a lovely thing to have I think whether you you've got a bolt of fabric nice to have a plain so whether it's a white or a navy or something but calico goes with everything so Christine good idea now I we have got loads of you checking out now because if you don't check out loads and loads of you've got it in your basket now just remember that we only have one P and P per day. So don't think, oh, well, I, I better wait until there's something else I want to buy. If you check out now, you can check out again. You will still only be charged the one, the one lot of 3.99 P and P. Um, but if you don't check out, we have got so many more of you got it in their basket, then you will lose it. And it's on split pay, which is fantastic. We never get the calico on split pay. In fact, I don't think we've had anything on split pay today that I could think of, not. So two um, payments of £62.49. So you pay one instalment now, one in a month's time. And then you will have this whole bolt on your shelf. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Look at that. A hundred and, no, the 25 metres. You are saving £24.50. What is the width of this calico? I'm sure it's extra wide. 150 centimetres. I said that the other day, I'm sure it's wider. Yeah, 150 centimetres. So you're actually getting more, although it's a quilted weight cotton, because when I made my um, quilt, all the calico bits that I cut for this, the strips and the sashing, it was really useful that it was that little bit wider. It didn't have to join so many pieces. So you get more out of your fabric, but it's the kind of thing that will last and last. Wow, we have sold so many of these I and mean, we are limited every time we get them back in but somehow Ben seems to get them into his show because he asks for them but we've got so many of you got them more people in baskets than we've got available so get it checked out get it home and then you will have this beautiful bolt of calico delivered I mean it's so heavy as well the weight of it the weight of it oh I feel like a fabric shop that's what they do don't they they get it off they get it off the thing and then they walk on the table and they roll it all yeah you feel like oh it's wonderful isn't it but you do need to get it checked out because it is amazing um and it's so wide as well isn't it but it's some calico even the especially the heavier weight ones aren't pre-shrunk but this one is which is great isn't it and and i like the fact that it's um it's like prop, it's like, like plain shop, isn't it? It's even got, um, it's held together with masking tape. I like that. So let's open it up. But it is like, you know when you go to a fabric shop and they pull it across and then they open it all up? It smells like, oh yes, lovely new, that lovely new fabric shop. Shop, that new shop, where do I get from? That lovely new fabric smell. But it's lovely. But you can see the width of it here, can't you? If you've got it in your basket, you need to get it checked out before you lose it. Because every time we do it, we sell out. So let me just check in. I want to double check this. Not that I don't trust Ben. Not that I don't trust Ben. But I don't trust sometimes the product description. Okay, yeah, it's 60 inches wide. <laughs> sometimes they don't write the right things on here. So it's 60 inches wide. It's fab, isn't it? And I love the fact, no, let's not undo it all. Ben's, Ben's like, let's undo the whole thing. No, there's a hundred, there are 25 meters here. But when you look at it, you can see all of the, let me just move my William Morris fabric. <laughs> um, but you can see all the flex in it, can't you? It's really lovely. So it gives that really natural look. But it's lovely mixed with um, with blues and reds. It's a bit like, you know when you wear denim and how is it that denim goes everything? Calico's the same. It, always, it almost seems a shame that we use calico for dressmaking twirls. But it, but it seems a shame, doesn't it, to waste it? But you could use them, you know, if you're doing, it's brilliant for embroidery because it's got that nice colour and, and feel to it. So 124.99. Remember, by buying the 25 meters in one go, you are saving 24 pound 50. That's a lot. 24 pound 50. That's loads, isn't it? I mean, that's like what meter and a half of designer fabric. 
for nothing. Anyway, I will leave that with you because um, there's so, the so many of you have got it in baskets. More, more of you keep putting it in baskets and starting to check out. You do need to start checking out though. I'll keep you updated as we go on through the, uh, the hour. If you've got it in your basket, get it checked out. But I will let you know when we're on to single figures and it's gone. Right, now another item that we've got back. Da, da, da. Now, I was very lucky to be on air with um, Helen when she launched this book. Even luckier that she brought that dress in there and I got to wear it. But unlucky that I had to give it back. Now, this is a fantastic book. Helen has spent quite some time, like several years, creating this book and we have finally got it back in stock. So, you know, with dressmaking, what puts you off is that the whole, does it fit? Does it, how do I make a dress that actually fits me? She explains not only how to make an item fit you, but it also contains full scale patterns for every size. It is an absolutely fantastic book. I mean, Helen is a professional dressmaker anyway. So she explains how to use the book. You go from paper pattern, so you draw a pattern, and she, well, she's got patterns in here. Um, you then make a calico sample using your bolt of calico and then you make your finished outfit and what she explains this is the point between this and this is the paper patterns are in the book there's the finished sample it's this section here this is the bit that makes takes your dressmaking from amateur to professional this is what makes it fit and then what you can do from that is once you have got that bodice that fits you, that's perfect, that complements you, that takes away the bits that you don't want and is in the fabric that you like. You can then choose between four different necklines. So depending on um, what you're wearing, the time of year, your bust line will depend on whether you want higher necks, lower necks. You can choose sleeves. You can have a full puff sleeve, a butterfly sleeve, a flare sleeve, a cap sleeve. Then you can choose the skirt length. So do you want a line skirt or you can just make it as a skirt. So if you've got some nice um, canvas fabric and you want an a line skirt, she shows you how to make a circle skirt. These can all be attached to the dress and then you can put pockets in and collars because everyone needs a pocket. It then goes through that beautiful, love that dress. Um, she talks about the sewing machines. Now this is so anyone, if you're at the beginning of your dressmaking journey and you are constantly frustrated by the fact you cannot find clothes to fit you or you can't find them in the fabrics that suit you or the right colour or you want something individual and you've made something and you just doesn't fit quite right. Normally what I find it's just like a bit tight across here and, and you just think oh that's a bit disappointing. This is the book for you because it will change your dressmaking forever. And I know that because I've spoken to Helen about it when she came on air. And not only that, that was a month or so ago. We have had loads of feedback from you and who have told us that it works and you have made beautiful dresses from it. So it goes all the way through how, you know, the very basics of how to sew seams, how to neaten seams, how to choose fabric, what all the different fabrics are, wool, poly, I mean, everything. Then it talks about the patterns, how you cut out the patterns, how to do the darts. I mean, it really is completely comprehensive book. How to measure, your, measure yourself. And what Helen did um, when I was on air with us is she measured me to show you how you measure yourself. And then what you add, there's no point in just measuring yourself. You need to know what to add to those measurements. And then how to choose the size of dress. Because I think where most of us go wrong with dressmaking, we think, well, I'm a 14, I'll make a 14. But a 14 in one pattern is different in a 14 in another. It's the same with um, shops, when you buy things in shops as well. This, the different sizes are different. So what she's done is she's got rid of all of that. She's, she's named her sizes, sizes one to 19 instead. So you just have to choose what size. And you take what your bust measurement is, what you've actually measured, and then you find your size from that. Much easier. Um, then she tells you how to trace patterns, how to make the block. I mean, it really is the ultimate guide to if you want to make dresses to fit you this is what you need and you obviously need calico as well for making your twelve. this is the bit that we often skip over but makes a difference and then you can make look you too can make dresses as beautiful as this there we go
gorgeous anyway please do keep checking out on that we have only just got it back in stock right tapestry fabrics next oh um wendy orlando says mm, i do not know about this bolt rebecca reed the list is endless what i would use this for definitely with you there and um, wendy evans says i've just started sewing again i've got some of your lovely calico and made some shopping totes there you go See? wonderful keep checking out for your calico please because again we've got loads of you within baskets and it is going i will keep you updated right i have got this is tapestry fabric so i've got a william morris bundle here so let me show you to start with you're going to save £10. This is gorgeous. This is your kind of upholstery type fabric. This is what you cover chairs with or make Mary Poppins carpet bags or little rucksacks or um, cover your piano stool or your dining room chairs or nice structured bags because it's a woven fabric. You can see it's a different colour on the back. It's a different colour on the back as well. So this bundle, 53.92, save £10, half a metre of all of these William Morris ones. Aren't they beautiful? So maybe you want to cover a load of chairs or you want to make some new cushions, then you could have one of each. Well, actually, if you were doing cushions, you could get um, the front. Yeah, you could get two cushions across there. So that's the first one. Then we have the next one. I love this one. It's got like kind of a denim-y colour background. And actually, if you look at the width of this, wouldn't this make a, just half a metre of it, make a really nice bed runner or table runner? Because it's nice and thick as well. Gorgeous, isn't it? Actually, wouldn't it be nice to just join them all together? And you make a whole bed cover. Be like a patchwork bed cover in William Morris. Look, if you did that. I mean, that'd look fab. You could just join them all together as it moves all the way up. So half a metre of each of these. So that's the second one. And they slide off the table. That's the second one. Then the third one. Again, you've got that really nice denim -y coloured background, but the um, very iconic flowers with all of these trailing vines as well. Isn't that absolutely stunning, isn't it, when you look at it like that? I think that's really nice. Gorgeous. Another blue one. So all of these, 53.92, save £10. They are all in this bundle. So if you've never used our tapestry fabrics, this is quite a good way of... Um, an introduction to them gives you a collection of all of them they are classic iconic william morris prints um heavy weight so like upholstery weight beautiful they're the kind of weight that you can make a very very thick door curtain obviously in this bundle you get half a meter of each of these um then this is the willow That's the willow pattern. There's two of these. There's one in blue. Again, then green. That's nice, isn't it? So they look lovely together. So it's quite a nice bundle to have. If you're thinking, well, I'd like to make a couple of cushions, that would be useful. But it's quite a nice bundle to have because you can use it for different things. Um, bag though for me that's what I would make is a nice big weekend bag and I would use a different fabric for all each part of it so one for the one one for the back and I'd have circles on the ends of it I think it would look fab um, and then the last two fabrics that are in the bundle are these really sort of Victorian I kind of think like a Victorian walled garden with fruit trees like a posh Victorian walled garden, like um, clementines and quince and those sort of medlars, those sort of fruits that nobody's ever heard of anymore. So that's the one with the ivory background. And then the final fabric in this bundle has this kind of aubergine plummy background. So those are Look at the image of all of them together. I mean, they are gorgeous. For just 53.92, you are getting half a metre of all of these fabrics. It's beautiful, isn't it? 
There's just so much pattern and print here. And they are lovely, aren't they? And then that final one there. There we go. Look, that's the collection of fabric that you get for just 53.92. Please do check out on that. Gorgeous. Now, if you would want to get, if you love some of the fabrics, but you want them by the half mid because you want more of it, you think, actually, I am going to make a door curtain, but I'm going to make a whole door curtain from this, That then we can do that. So, let me go through them all. We don't have all of them by the half meter, just saying we have some of them. So I'm going to start with this one. So these are available. I'll do them one at a time. I've need to do them quite quickly. I'm going to run out. Uh, one at a time, 7 99 for half a meter. If you, if you want um, more than half a meter, put that number of units in your basket and it will be cut to order. So if you want to make a door curtain, you need three meters, put six meters in your basket. Right. That's the... Um, Oh, the pomegranate aubergine then we have the cream cream well natural then we have willow in green um, then we have um, JPCW 95 Aztec. Uh, then we've got one of the William Morris ones. Oh, that's lovely. That's one of my favourites one. JLC 484. Persian Deluxe. That's lovely, isn't it? 7 99 Um, another William Morris inspired one. I love the deep red background of this one. VPC 498. It's not an exact William Morris print, this one, but it's a William Morris inspired print. So you've got the kind of the same leaves, but it's a lovely deep red background. Yes, yeah, it's not, yeah, not exactly the strawberry thief. It's just a strawberry pest. <laughs> William Red, it's called. Um, I've got another William Morris fabric here. This is actual proper William Morris. P PBC four seven three Snake's Head. I don't get that. Is that what this is? That the name of that plant or something? No, oh, it's called Snake's Head. Don't know. Maybe that's the name of one of his designs. I think that's the last um, William Morris. So, oh, I like this one. Trees. Trees, little trees. Look at the back of that one. Magic, isn't it? Like burgundy. Um, do you want a code for this one? Oh, there we go. It's called Aura Tapestry All Over. 6 99 half a metre. I love the little trees, that's nice, isn't it? Um, then we have um, this kind of zigzaggy one. It's probably not called that. <laughs> I don't think it's called that, though. It's called Murano, darling. I have actually been to Murano. Yes, I have been to Murano. Um, you go to Murano on a boat and, watch, and see the Murano glass. I went, I bought a glass chili. From Murano. <laughs> Six ninety-nine. There we go. Um Oh, Little Holland. I like this one. It's kind of um, optical illusion-y, isn't it? Because the, the little triangles are really small, but you've got the same colour in each each triangle, but then changes it. It's very... That is quite cool. Like that one. Uh, next one is like a mosaic floor. 
that's lovely. That's like one of those terrazzos, isn't it? Gaudi, it's like a terrazzo in Murano. I don't even know if they have them there, but I have been. <laughs> it is like a, a mosaic floor. Lovely. And then I've got like a chevrony one. It's called zigzag. That's what I thought the other one was called zigzag. That's quite clever. Do you know what that looks like? It looks like a flight of stairs. Do you think that looks like, look, that's the stairs in a library. No, but if you thought, yeah, it could be piles of books, but it could be stairs. So when you look at it like that, it is like stairs, like that's the riser and that's the tread. Oh, that's quite clever actually, isn't it? That's why I think that would make a fantastic um, curtain. Because it would look like you had a library in the hallway, wouldn't you? Now, this one would be great to rip off for the patchwork design of. Little Glasgow. I think that's so clever because it is all squares and triangles, but it's fab, isn't it? It's almost like, it looks a bit like a dog's, dog tooth check. But in different shades. I think that's really stunning, isn't it? That would make a nice bag. Six ninety nine for half a metre. It would, wouldn't it? I think that would make a glorious bag. Um, then we have Bumblebee. I love this one. Look. That's a, that's a backpack waiting to happen, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Every time I'd put it on, I'd be going... <laughs> It's such a structured fabric that it would be ideal for, you know, like your overnight bag, something a really big. I'd put nice big chunky straps. In fact, those leather, uh, well, faux leather handles we had earlier that had on today that have the little rivets in, they'd look brilliant on this. And you would have to make that noise every time you carried it. And one more. Oh, the tree panel sold out. Oh, one left. It's just, per se, that's the front of a cushion, isn't it, really? Well, it could be the front of a bag. That goes with the tree fabric. So if you want the final one, that does go with the tree fabric. That's nice, isn't it? Clever, though. I like the fact that it's kind of exploding around the edges. Right. We have a few calico bolts left, but we've still got loads more of you that have got it in your basket. So you need to make your minds up. We've got it back in stock today. We don't... It keeps going. We get it, it goes, we get it, it goes. We have got um, lots of you with it in their baskets, more of you with it in baskets than we've actually got in stock. So if you want it, don't leave it in your basket. Get it checked out. 124.99 for 25 metres of calico. 150 centimetres wide, quilting weight cotton. You are going to save £24.50, which is a lot of fabric. As a big saving, you will get the whole bolt. If you would rather buy it on split pay, you can do that with two equal payments of £62.49. It's interest free as well, won't cost you a penny. It's just a way of you spreading the cost. Now, whether you order by phone 0800 001 4433 or whether you order online, at the point at which you check out, they will ask you whether you want split pay or not. It's entirely up to you. Doesn't <coughs> make any difference to us, that's your choice. But you will have a bolt of calico. So if you're a dressmaker, brilliant for twirls. If you're a home sewer, great for linings. If you want to um, just make simple bags from them, curtain lining, all sorts, at £124.99 for a 25 metre bolt will be sent straight to you. You've only got to pay one lot of PMP, £3.99, for the whole thing, which is amazing, isn't it? Because from the weight of it, I think the warehouse will be losing out. But we can save you because we can, by buying in bulk like this, we can save the money. So we can pass that saving on to you, £24.50. So you're only paying £124.99 for the whole bulk. And, you know, quite often we, we, amazing, we, so we sell so much of this and in the end we just thought actually I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that want a bolt but every time we get the bolts in it sell out but loads of you've got it in your basket you need to get it checked out um, because well I think Ben Ben every time he sees it in it seems to always be on his show 
Yeah, I think him and Haley are on fights about it actually. Oh, and Hannah, sorry, and Hannah. Yeah, but Haley actually gave this to Ben because she saw it was back in. Anyway, if you want one of these bolts, um, as much as I do, 124.99 for the whole bolt. Get it checked out, and how exciting will it be when this arrives? You'll feel like you're in a, working in a fabric shop. It's fab. So how are we doing on stock for it, Ben? Yeah, limited. Very, very limited. Mm. Yeah, there's so many people who've got it in their basket now, so um, you need to get it checked out. So it's really strange because we've got lots of people who've got it in baskets, so I think there must be an issue because we're very slow on checking out. Don't know what's going on. Let us know if you've got a problem with the phone lines or on checkout. It's only you guys letting us know. Well, for the number of people who've got it in their baskets and it's not been checked out, there must be... Hmm. Let us know, because it's the only way that we find out, to be honest, unless you call customer services. But I will leave that one with you. Um, hi, Rebecca. I just bought my bolt. I cannot wait for it to come. Yeah, well done, Debs. I, I'm with you. I mean, it's just lovely. You can imagine getting that off your shelf, going, oh, I'll just have a little sneaky half a metre of that. Mm. That would be nice, wouldn't it? lovely anyway get it checked out if you're having issues at all with it, check it out let me know right anyway 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 machines should we do needles or we should we go to machines well only because um now if you've got a janome or an elna machine get the right bobbins the other day my elna um my elna 720 pro I tried, it was skipping stitches. I tried honestly everything. I cleaned it out, I changed its needle, I re-threaded it. I did absolutely everything. And then I realised, because I had a clear bobbin in it, I thought, hmm, I wonder if I've got a rogue bobbin for my old machine. So I got a prop that I won a Janome bobbin that I knew wound up absolutely perfect. So if you've got a Janome or an Elna machine, do use the right bobbins. Only eight pounds, but worth having as well, because it's really annoying, isn't it, when you have to take thread off a bobbin. So if you've got one in the machine, to get some more bobbins. Um, you will need needles as well, because we know what it's like, we all break the needles. And it's really important to use the right needle for the job. So the blue tip needle is your, um, the blue tip, it's your standard one, isn't it? I should know that since I use these all the time. Uh, yeah, that is your standard needle, like universal. Get a pack of those. Oh, hang on, this is the bundle, isn't it, of all of them? Right, so I thought these were individual. So if you get this bundle, that's all of them. So the um, you get the blue tip, which is universal. You get a pack of stretch needles, so obviously for jerseys. You get a pack of the red tip, which are, I think, for jeans. Yep, so those are these extra thick ones. Those are for jeans. And then you get the purple tip needles, which are for knits, free quilting, sewn across the hem, and dense stitch embroidery. So these are size 90, so they're extra, um, extra strong shafts in them, so they won't break on fabric. So £20.96, pence, you will get all of those needles, so you will always have the right needle for the job, which is fab. Right. I'm just going to move over to the machines now. I've got a whole host of machines. Right, I'm going to start off with the easy cover because <coughs> completely sold out the other day. And for some reason, we've got one back in stock. Don't know how it works. And what? so what's the reduction? We've got to have a reduction today, Ben. 669 What's the price? How much are we going to reduce? The, the one, the only one we've got. 569 So we're reducing the price by £100. That's fantastic. Now, obviously, with that, we can put it on split pay. Five-way split pay. So that is £113.80 per month you pay your 113.80 it gets sent to you straight directly from elna 
And then the other payments you pay over four monthly intervals, but you will get it sent straight away. So if you've always fancied having a cover stitch, a cover stitch different to an overlocker, it's the machine that you use for like hemming jerseys and hemming items and hemming your clothes. It does that thing where it turns it over and sews it, sews it in place. It is kind of, if you love, if you like doing dressmaking, you want that professional finish. It's what a sewing machine and an overlocker can't do. So if you're doing things like swimwear or hemming or lingerie, all of those things where you need that hemming finish, it's the only thing that does it. It's like, you know, when someone says to you, can you take up this for me? And you go, mm, well, no, because that's why I don't have, you don't have the right machine. So this will give you that professional finish. now totally sold out last time is this and this is the last day we've been doing deals on elna machines for a couple of weeks because luckily we are the distributor for elna now we are the home of elna actually but i think this is the last day of the deals now let me just warn you six of you have just put this one machine in your basket they, well it's not actually this one it is one very the same as this because you will be sent yours direct from Elna them, themselves. So we only, and they only have one left that they can send out. And six of you have put it in your basket. We will get them back eventually, but we've been doing quite a lot of deals recently. So that £100 off, we won't be able to do that when we get them back. So if you want a cover stitch machine, if you want to take your sewing up to that next professional level, £569, save £100. Maybe you missed out last time, but for some reason, I don't know what happened. Maybe somebody cancelled the order or maybe Elna just found another machine. Don't know. There is just the one back in stock. Um, they get sent straight from Elna. Now, when I bought my machine from Elna, I got it within 24 hours. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Well done to the lucky person who checked out fast enough and got their cover stitch machine and saved £100. Fantastic. Now, mm -mm -mm. were we not supposed to have this today? This is a glorious machine. This is the Elna 780 Plus. We weren't supposed to have this today, but we've been allowed to because of the cover stitch, I think. We only have six of these machines left, but we can do something very, very special with the price today. It's on five-way split pay, so that's five equal payments of 557 pounds and 80 pence. But I think we should take money off this. 100, 200 maybe, 300, Four, can we have 400? No, no, five, I think five split pay, 500. Because then that's £100 a month less, isn't it? And we only have six of them left. So if you want to save £500, whoa, 2289 instead, saving yourself £500. Look at that, the split pay. Well, it's worth doing five, five, five payments, five hundred pound per month you all you have to do is pay your one payment today it will be sent straight to you you still have to pay one pmp which is ridiculous isn't it 457 pounds 80 you pay that one payment today this is if you want to do split pay you don't some people prefer just to pay all up front it's interest free you will then be sent the others the you will be sent the machine straight away the other payments you'll make over the next four months now this is a fantastic machine i've got the i've got the one below this i know i've got a lot of machine envy actually this is the 780 plus this is super fancy elna super fancy now what i would say about these machines and i know when i was at the festival of quilts a couple of weeks ago and i demonstrated how to use the 720 and a lot of people say to me oh i don't need a machine like oh i don't think i'd understand it or i'm not good enough is actually the more sophisticated the machine is the easier it is to use what you're looking for a lot of people will often ask me what should i look for a machine i'd go always go computerized which is what this machine is always go computerized because it does the thinking for you you 
you haven't got to think about thread tension, which for any of you sewers, you know, is the worst thing. Oh, the tension's wrong, the tension's wrong. You don't have to think about that. The machine does that for you. Once you've gone past that level and you've decided, right, I want a computerized sewing machine, the more features that the machine has got, the more professional your sewing will look. So on a very basic level, this machine has the walking foot. Fantastic. That means that the um, the the fabric is fed through at the same speed. It has free motion embroidery. So that means that you can do all of those fancy free motion embroidery finishes. It has a very deep throat space, which means that you can quilt quilts with it because you can get all of that fabric in there. It has um, so many stitches and it's not just about the decorative stitches, which are fab, by the way, never top. When you, when you need to top stitch around the when you when you need to top stitch around the edge of a bag don't do that use a decorative stitch it has 350 stitches so look if i'll give you the slide here now those stitches aren't just all decorative a lot of them are utility stitches so they're stretch stitches they're th stitches that you can use for finishing they're special hemming stitches it's got 11 buttonhole stitches it has alphabets now sewing speed is really important isn't it it's fine when you want to go go slow around curves and corners and this has a speed limiter on it as well so you can set it to go slower but you can also go up to 1060 stitches per minute which is when you are making sewing bindings on or you're putting curtains together and you just want to whoosh down 1060 makes a big difference for a few of you who know you know use the zigzag stitches or maybe you've got an okay machine but you want to upgrade having that nine mil maximum sewn width makes a big difference when you're doing the zigzags if you want to join things together it's got this is my favorite thing this is what i miss the automatic presser foot lifter so what happens is that when you stop sewing the needle is down the foot is lifted so you know what it's like when you're sewing round corners and round curves you don't have to keep lifting the foot up and down it does that for you it has the automatic foot pressure adjustment which is brilliant because if you're sewing on thick fabrics or um, fabrics with a lot of pile you can alter the pressure that the foot goes on so that the the fabric isn't being held tight through the machine so when you go through thicker fabric that your stitches will say the same length i mean it's obviously got bobbin threader built-in thread cutter you would expect that things like the nine leds in four areas is amazing when i upgraded my machine a couple of years ago i had one light which i thought was fab until i had nine lights and it makes such a difference to sewing in the evening so if you are thinking and have been thinking about treating yourself to a new machine or you know somebody would like to treat you if this is your first or second third machine it makes a big difference it has so many feet with it and that's what makes a difference one of my favorite things about this machine is the um the needle plates so there are three different needle plates now if you look on a normal mach sewing machine there's um like a rectangular groove because your machine needs to do zigs needs to go straight down and it needs to do zigzag stitches as well in fact if i show you this there'll be one in the box here so this is your normal needle plate can you see that it has a groove across the center because when you want to do zigzag stitches or decorative stitches the needle needs to be able to go down and across all the time but if you're just doing straight stitch, and honestly, I use my high performance plate all the time when I'm doing patchwork and quilting. You know, when you start stitching at the beginning um, of a piece of fabric, it pulls down into, the fabric gets pulled down into the bed of the machine. And you have to use another piece of fabric before to stop that happening. With the HP plate that just sits on here it's a really easy uh, mechanism you just click it off you press the button on the side it clicks off and you clip it in can you see there is just one hole here whereas the normal plate has the big groove that means that the needle can only go through that hole which means the fabric isn't pulled into the throat of the machine so you don't get all of that snagging and it also means that you can go super fast 
So if you are doing lots of small seams, maybe you're chain piecing things, you can go faster. With only that one hole, it works really well. You also get a, sp a special feet that you use with that. So like this foot, that foot can only be used with the HP plate. It's amazing, so, and it's a quarter of an inch wide as well. So if you're a patchwork quilter, this is fantastic. I mean, I've got a list here of all the feet that you get with it. So you get the standard foot, a rolled hem foot, a zip foot, satin stitch foot, open to toe satin stitch foot, a blind hem foot, overlock foot. Uh, you get a seam foot, normal seam foot, the quarter of an inch one, with and without the quilting guide. You get two darning feet. You get the free motion quilting foot, which is brilliant. And there, there is so much. I mean, it comes with the uh, free motion foot. It comes with all of those. I mean, some of those are like fifty pounds each. You've got so much there. It comes with what I love. I didn't use mine the other day, and I, I never used it before. It comes with the button foot, so you can actually sew on a button. I mean, genius. It's absolutely genius. I used mine for the first time after having my sewing machine for two years. No, I have never done it before. It's a little foot and you can sew buttons on with it. Absolutely fantastic. It comes with an automatic knee lifter as well. It does have a fabric cover for it. It also comes with an extension table. So, although you've got this lovely deep throat space, if you want to be able to make the area bigger, so say when you're doing a quilt, you know when you've like constantly having to lift it up because you don't want it falling over, it comes with a big extension table. I haven't got that here that you just clip on and that makes it bigger. Honestly, this, it makes such a difference when you have all of these things. Even things like the spool holders that you think, oh, well, do I really need those? You had to use different, th whether you're using Aurifil thread, you might be using Gut Gutterman thread, you might be using, you know, some of the economy thread. You need different spool hoods. It makes a massive difference. There's so many different things on it. I mean, you, I would, this saving is, is that till the end of this week or today? Oh, till midnight, wow. If you are thinking about upgrading your machine, this is the next level. This is saving 500 pounds. If you're not sure, ask questions on our um, Sewing Street Facebook fans page. They'll be able to tell you. I mean, it is an absolute, um, should we have a little look at it? It's gorgeous. I mean, it has your full sort of LED plate. So it's just touch screen. It's easy enough to do. I mean, you know, everything that you need is very accessible. So there's your speed limiter with the um, tortoise and the hare. Thread cutter. There's the, um, there's where you can lift the foot up and down. You can need needle up and down there, reverse. If you don't want to use the pedal, which sometimes I don't want to use the pedal if I'm just, depending on maybe it's under the table or some people prefer to sit on the floor and stitch or maybe you are limited in where you can stitch. This is instead of using the pedal, start stop button. It's easy peasy to thread as well. If you lift up the top, look at all of those stitches. Now, remember I told you over 300 stitches, there's all the utility stitches, which are basically your zigzag stitches hemming the edge of things. All of those buttonhole stitches. Look at all of the applique stitches. So if you want to uh, do some um, applique, just a piece of fabric on, you've got all of those heirloom stitches. I love the way that they've put them into sections. Quilt stitches. Um, then they've got the, the pictogram. There's, in fact, they've got more on this one. They've got, see on the pictogram ones, they've got washing. So they've got 60 degrees, 40 degrees and 30 degrees. So if you've made something out of fabric, you can just label on there. Easy peasy to use. My um, favourite one is the washing lines. It's it's trousers and a top on the washing line. And they've even got like a non-iron stitch. So you can easily um, stitch your own washing labels onto things as well. I'll leave that one with you. Remember, 500 pounds off. But if you, if you want a more portable machine, There we go. If you're in the, um, if you want something more portable, everyone has a different budget. So this one is much easier to carry, isn't it? It's a smaller machine. Uh, it's m more affordable. This is the 570. But we also have these, so they kind of go in number order. We have the 550. Don't buy that one. Don't, 
don't buy that one today. There is a reason. So the 550 is going from 429 down, 529 to 489. But don't buy that one today. Don't buy that one. I mean, it's a great machine. Yeah, it is a lovely machine, but today is not the best day to buy that. The 560, which is the next one up, which has more features, normally 619. And we're going to go down to 559, but don't buy that one. So for the 560, right, remember that one, 559, 59, 559. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. I want to know why not to buy that one. Five five nine five five nine. Okay, five nine. Yeah, but the five seventy is more expensive. Five five nine. That's six four nine. Five four nine. So the five seventy today is less expensive than the five sixty. And look at the split pay on that. Five way split pay. £109.80. So you spend £109.80 today and you can get this sent straight to you. £549. This is a fantastic machine. I mean, obviously, you know, we have different levels. I adore that 780 plus. If I was going to get any machine, I'd get that one. But you might have a different budget. You might also want it to be more portable. You might want to be able to take it away on holiday with you to workshops in the caravan. This is still a computerised sewing machine. Obviously, it doesn't have the number of stitches of the 780 plus, it doesn't have all the feet, but it is a very, very high quality machine. What this has over and above the 550 and the 560 is it has the thread cutter. To me and most people, the thread cutter is something once you've had it, you won't go back. So if you look at the buttons on the front, here's the thread cutter, which basically means when you're sewing and you finish, you press the thread cutter, ka -ching, it cuts your thread. Makes such a difference, it saves thread and time at the same time. It, you don't have any tension issues with it. You won't need to save um, to the tension. It has loads and loads of stitches with it and handily, the stitches are all on the side. Look at this. So it tells you exactly what stitches. You um, press all the buttons there on the uh, LED screen. It has all the lights. I mean, it is a beautiful machine. 549 pounds today or £109.80, it doesn't cost you any more, it's, it's interest free. So you pay £109.80 today and this machine will be sent to you. It is a beautiful machine. Um, a quick message, I love my 570A, it performs brilliantly and is in daily use. Straightforward to use, loads of stitches and reliable, it's fab from Collector and Merseyside. Well that's what, what more do you what more do you want? I'll leave that with you. I wanted to highlight that um, that, that was available and what an amazing price. £109.80 on split pay and you can have the machine. It's reliable, it's brilliant, it does the job. Right, final, final call to action on the Calico because there are still a few of you who have not checked out. 125, no, 25, God, that'd be, I'd never pick that up. 25 metre bolts, save £24.50. It's 150 centimetres wide, and we um, can do it on split pay. 124.99, two equal payments of 62 pounds and 49 pence. And you can have it with lots of you who've still got it in your baskets. Please do check out, because when it's gone, it's gone anyway. Right. I've only got a couple of minutes left. So, thank you for joining me on Sewing Street. Tomorrow, we have got... Um, who's on to tomorrow? Oh, it's, it's Hayley West. We've got Hayley West with us tomorrow. She will be on here on air with Ben tomorrow, 8 o'clock. K Facet Fabrics. At 9 o'clock, the Kaleidoscope Hexagon Quilt with Carolyn Forster. Oh, she's the most fantastic quilt designer. I'm, look, I'm going to be watching that one. 10 o'clock, Emily Roberts will be in with her sewing tools. So she's now started creating a selection of her own sewing tools. They'll be fab because she's a fantastic sewer. So I'll be interested to see. I think there are lots of gadgets. Love a gadget. Um, 11 o'clock, Carolyn Forster will be back with the Japanese Stars and Lanterns quilt. Now, if you've never seen Carolyn Forster designs, you will love these. She's an absolute expert quilter. And at 12 o'clock, it's Carolyn Forster's books and quilting tools so that is a bit of a 
quilting day for you tomorrow isn't it thank you for joining me today please don't forget to check out on the calico and on the sewing machines as well if you want to save 500 pounds today on the elna 780 plus today is the day to do it thank you for joining me and i will see you back here next week